Alrighty, let's get this show on the road. I'm gonna put out my social media reminders. Instagram, out. Twitter, out. A lot of good those will do. We'll see. We'll see if they do any difference. Make any difference. They won't do any difference. That's not the right way to say it. Make any difference. They're not going to make any difference. It's you folks. You folks subscribed and clicking the bell. You are the ones who truly matter, not the social media parasites. Not at all. Not at all. Greetings to all of you, and Happy New Year. I will formally wish you all a Happy New Year in time, but I, you know, I just got to get it out of the way as quickly as possible. I'm glad to see you all here, here nice and early. Made sure to pause the stream in the background, because I just want the comments. I don't need any extra stream going on in the background. All right, now let's begin. Seasons, greetings, and Happy New Year! I'm your host, Dr. Wolfula, and welcome to Doc's Game Room, where I live scream video games for your dangertainment. Tonight's feature presentation is my continuation of the Batman Arkham Origins live Let's Play I started a couple weeks ago. You know, we're after the holidays technically, but it's New Year's, and there is a New Year's DLC. We might not get to it tonight. I hope so. I hope we will get to uh, the New Year's DLC of Arkham Origins, but we might not. Ah, I hope so. Hopefully I can just speed run through the rest of the main campaign. We can get to that Mr. Freeze New Year's DLC because it feels wrong not to get to it, but I'm already wasting time. So let's first let you know uh, I have a review of The Purge Anarchy. I'm continuing the Purge series. I'm going to be reviewing all the movies, starting with the sequel, of course. It's available now in early access, so uh, link in the description if you want to support the channel and get this early video, but otherwise it'll be up on YouTube soon, so stay patient. I'm working on a whole bunch of other videos. want to try to get a backlog. Also, tomorrow night, Sunday night, I'll be having a live die-in theater bonus movie night stream of Terror Train and its 2022 remake. And there's a sequel to the remake that came out today. Like, just within the span of a few months, they already made another sequel. I, I'm, I think I'm going to be reviewing the new Terror Train movies, because I didn't even know they fucking existed. But tomorrow night, for Patreon supporters and channel members, part of the movie night here, you know, you get to watch both Terror Train movies with me. Yeah. But enough, uh, Gavin. Let's get on to the streaming. Get on to the streaming. And yes, Lubeless, there was a Terror Train remake. It looks, it looks shitty. It was released by Tubi. We'll see how it goes, but yeah. All right. Now Arkham Origins is the active window, so now it's got sound. Hopefully uh, there's decent sound level evening out. Hopefully I am loud and clear and you could still hear the, uh, you know, the actual game itself. Just nice and even, I'm hoping. DK says, what's my New Year's resolution, Doc? Well, it's a very simple New Year's resolution and it's, a resolution that, you know, a niche portion of my audience might not appreciate, but my New Year's resolution, I realize, I think it's going to be focus mainly on, focus all my writing and editing efforts just to movie reviews. And that part of that is bringing back the Gulag channel. So, just in order to manage my time better, because I realize I, I do waste a lot of time on, like, you know, reviews of TV old TV episodes and stuff, and it, that stuff is starting to become a lot more time consuming. And for this year, I want to try to just focus on the main meat and potatoes and also stream more frequently. And this can just be my outlet for when I want to do stuff that's not movie reviews and try to make the streams, I guess, more diverse and have more variety. But yeah, my main efforts, as far as actual writing and editing, I got to try to Make that stuff the actual, you know, movie reviews. The stuff most people are subscribed for, because I realize I just get a, I just kind of get derailed. I need to focus on the focus on the main thing, the horror movie reviews, and also bringing back the Gulag channels reviews. You know, I just gotta focus. Uh, Static has a super chat. Thank you, Static. When Texas Chainsaw Game comes out, will you play it? I will indeed. I'll stream it. I probably, I, I ref like for instance, I did review the Evil Dead game and you know i did like making that video but i realized 
you know, I probably could just could have just focused on just streaming it and just focused my efforts to just, you know, making a review of an actual horror movie because that's the main because like there aren't like, you know, this is still a niche thing on my channel, video game content. Like most people just are into me talking about horror movies. So if I'm going to do video game content, it's probably for the best if it's just, you know, just playing the games live, you know, just takes up a few hours of my time but uh i will indeed i am also planning to stream the friday the 13th game in january try to f try to find out live if the game is still even worth playing in 2023 like i'm kind of curious like how well that game is held up i'm, I'm really curious it probably it's probably going to be a terrible experience, but I'm curious, and I want to show everybody what it's like. Maybe, you know, maybe it's still got some life in it. I guess we'll find out. And Happy New Year's to you as well, Colby. Would you ever consider reviewing the Full Moon monster movies? Yeah, I'm going to try to uh, get more into things of that nature soon. Definitely need to... Definitely need to do the Puppet Master movies, and maybe even the Evil Bong. So yeah, there, it's it's one of those things where yeah, I, that's that's what I'm hoping for. Like just focusing on, uh, exclusively on the horror movie reviews is it will free me up to just you know make videos about uh, stuff I just haven't covered as much. You know, I just gotta manage my time better and just realize you know I don't know you know I don't know, but we'll see. I might end up completely betraying my New Year's resolution and just end up being like, here's a review of, here's reviews of MASH episodes. I, I made like five MASH episodes. I spent all month like making like 10 or 20 episodes of MASH. Like reviews of episodes of MASH, like no one wants to watch, you know. I'll, <laughs> that might end up happening. I, I hope not. I would love that. I would love to do that, but that's the problem. Because <laughs> I also love making reviews of horror movies. So it's one of those things where, you know. Aw, oh, shit. No, no. Okay, well, that worked out in the end. I still got a whole bunch of bullets in my face, but still. Okay, I should probably go on silent mode on my phone. Probably a good idea. There we go. All right, time to head into the steel mill. This feels really familiar, but this is a prequel, so it's not going to be a very fun steel mill like in Arkham City. It's just going to be a regular steel mill. Black Mask still owns it. Well, I guess technically Joker owns it now. I guess this is the beginning of Joker owning the steel mill, but he hasn't really made it a fun steel mill yet. He hasn't quite had the time to do that. What am I doing? Okay. I see the, oh, I, I, I don't know why, I, I guess I was just like, I'm so used to going up through the chimney in Arkham City. I'm just like, not used to like, actually using the door to get inside the steel mill. Oh man. But it looks, yeah, you could tell like, they totally just reused the map from Arkham City. It's like the same steel mill and everything. Which is nice and consistent. Oh, that guy's got a gun. Okay, I probably uh, should have prioritized him. I didn't see a guy with a gun. I go, oh, he probably picked it up while I wasn't looking. What's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with you? Oh shit. These guys must be ugly as fuck if they're wearing those masks. Okay, well. It's been a while. I need to stop getting so rusty at this combat system. Probably go a lot more smoothly if I had the uh, combo multiplier uh, increase, but I don't have that, so oh well. Aw, oh, shit. I thought he was still on the ground. Okay. That could have gotten much better, but it is what it is, and I leveled up. Hopefully this means I finally have... No, I don't have the combo boost yet. I really want that combo boost. I can't get it yet. I st still have to get the blade dodge takedown because they decided this is the track you need. You need this stuff first. Sorry. The six squad says I heard bats wear Bruce Wayne masks, so there's that. 
That's kind of cute. Just imagining this little tiny bat wearing a Bruce Wayne mask. You know, it's, it's adorable. All right, let me look on the map where I need to... Okay, well, that's the exit. So I guess one of these doors. Probably not going to be this one. No, wait. Yeah, okay, it is this one. Awesome. All right. Time to take out this room. I could go through that door and get shot, but that's probably not a good idea. I, but then again, no, I don't want to look like a dipshit. I'm Batman. I gotta have the element of surprise. Like, yeah, look, there's this little turret gun thing. Yeah, I would have totally gotten my ass blasted. All right. Oh, they saw me? Okay, so much for the element of surprise. Damn it. Oh, and that guy's got a gun, too? Damn it. I need you guys to just stop crowding me. I need some space. Ah, you piece of shit. Put the gun down. It's not fair. I don't have a gun. I mean, I do have, like... A gun that can shoot a grappling hook, but that's not the same thing. I mean, I guess I could probably kill somebody with that grappling hook. It's technically still a gun. It just has, like, you know, a, you know, a line of rope connected to the bullet. But still, you know, I, I'm not killing anybody with my grapple gun, okay? That's the key thing. I need to hack that computer so I can find the security code for the door. Gavin says, do the Arkham games and the GTA franchise take place in the same universe? I like to think they do. I like to think they do. I mean, I saw, you know, video online of the Joker, you know, mocking Franklin from GTA 5. And Franklin was dressed as... No, wait. Yeah, Franklin was dressed as the Riddler, and he was getting mocked by the Joker. But I guess that was a mod. But I like to think that was actually a canon, a canon scene. You know, at least that's what I like to think. Receiving it now, sir. Interesting. Cyanus had a pacemaker implanted. It says here he had prolonged. Colby says Doctor Wolfula isn't a werewolf. He's a Wolfulite. That's there's a key difference between werewolves and Wolfulites. I mean, werewolves, they. They're dumb as shit, and, they, and they're and they weak to silver bullets. I mean, you could kill me with a regular bullet. I'm not, like, specifically weak to silver. I mean, come on. You know, I, a werewolf couldn't do, like, a Let's Play of a Batman game. They, they're they these hulking brutes. They could barely work a controller, let alone play Batman proficiently. Now, I could have sworn... Okay, I think it's just like this. Oh, yeah. I like in Arkham Knight, you can just tear the turret guns apart. That's that's pretty satisfying. In this game, it's just, use your little fancy gadget. And the turret gun's like, ah, oh, I guess I'm gonna give up now. Oh wait, now I could just go through this door. Sweet! Way Up Dude posted a whole bunch of w werewolf emoji, but the thing about YouTube is that YouTube you know, YouTube's really weird with its auto-spam, like, it'll be like, okay, you're a spam bot if you posted a whole bunch of emoji. Like, you know, it'll be, it'll be like, you know, on its game with that kind of shit. But when it comes to, like, guys in the comments being like, message me on Snapstagram or whatever and you'll win a PS5. I'm totally Dr. Wolfula when it comes to those kind of comments. Like, YouTube can give less of a fuck. They're like, okay, we're fine with these, because they're giving people PS5s. We're fine with these spam bots, these obvious spam bots. We're not going to do any, like, auto moderation of that kind of shit, but uh, just don't post a whole bunch of emoji, or else you're going to be, you're not, your comment's not going to show up. <laughs> but yes, um, I get so many fucking messages from people asking where their PS5 is at this point. Like, it's just... It's such a... Oh, man. It's such a nightmare. Just... If you get a... If you get a reply in my comment section saying, I, I'm gonna give you a PS5, you're not gonna get your PS5. And you're just gonna make things awkward, because I'm just gonna be like... I don't have a PS5 for you, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
There's no situation where anybody's just giving people PS5s in a YouTube comment section. That doesn't happen. It's not a real thing. I'm sorry. It's just not. And thank you, Xavier to God, for the super chat. Glad to still be making videos going on into 2023. Let's continue moving. I guess that grate, I could have opened that grate and gotten a Enigma data drive or whatever the fuck they're called, but they're not as fun to get compared to Riddler trophies. They're just these little green squares. It's not as cool. I'll need to find a way inside that room. Come on. Lubliss says it sucks that people still believe the bots are real. I mean, a lot of people are kind of gullible, which is an issue, but I'm hoping eventually we'll start to see more people just kind of wisening up and just ignoring the bots. Because I keep banning them and they just keep coming back. Sweet! Combo takedown. It's like just, I don't know. It's an exercise in futility at a certain point. And I've even blocked, like, common words. Like, certain, like, words that people don't use every day that the bots use and tried to block those words to try to prevent the bots, but they just keep, just keep coming. We'll turn you inside out. Okay, this is getting a little too crowded. Oh, man, is that guy really on the ground? Oh, yeah, he's on the ground, damn it. Oh, well. So I'll just beat beat the fuck out of this guy, I guess. Yeah. That's here, people. Get ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, mini boss time. Hopefully, I don't get my ass kicked. So far, I haven't gotten killed in Arkham Origins, so there's that at least. Wait, let me think. Did I get killed in Arkham? I think I got killed. A yeah, I think I got killed a couple times in Arkham City. I'm trying to remember how you take these guys down. I think it's... I think it's just a simple matter of stun them. No, 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 that's not it. Um, damn it. Ah, oh, shit. I should have threw a batarang. Okay. Well, that guy's, like, just... On the, on the ground, so there's that, at least. What are you doing, dude? Aw, oh, I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> Man, I am really rusty tonight. I've been playing God of War Ragnarok, so I think, I don't know. My mind has been wired differently to play a different kind of action game. And wow, the fucking audio cut out. Oh, wait, no. Oh, shit. Okay, I just realized it's not the audio cutting out. My Bluetooth connection cut out. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. That is a weird bug that I sometimes encounter where the Bluetooth connection of my computer cuts out randomly. It only happens like every now and then, but then it cuts out and then I have to wait for it to reconnect. But I, yeah, I think, okay, I'm gonna turn off my Bluetooth, turn it back on. It's a weird bug. Fucking Windows, man. All right. Bluetooth back on, hopefully. Bluetooth, turn back on, please. Oh, no. This is a nightmare. Turn on, Bluetooth. Come on. I'll be your best... I'll be your best friend, Bluetooth. Just please, turn back on. Okay. Damn it. Okay, well, the solution to this problem is I don't use Bluetooth. So I gotta go grab USB-C cable and a fucking aux cable for my headset. Damn it. Didn't really want to do that, though. But Bluetooth just is not working on my Windows... It's Windows 11. It's... I, don't, I, I gotta stop beating around the bush here. Alright, I got the aux cable, and I should have a USB-C... Okay, I got a USB-C cable right here. Alright. Damn it. Probably should be using cables anyway, just because you can't really... Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I th okay. Bluetooth back online. Well, at least I have the cables ready to go, just in case. Damn it. All right, hopefully... Okay, let's see. We got the audio. All right, we got audio. Man, that was really stupid, though. It, like, shut down 
briefly, and then it came back online. I don't know. Part of me feels like it's a common thing, but it probably isn't. It's probably just just an issue I have with my computer, and I'm getting my ass kicked because I, fucking Bluetooth connection. Damn it. That sucks. My greatest nemesis, Bluetooth. Yeah, how do you take these guys out? I'm trying to remember how you do that. It's been a while. Is it that? No, that's not that. Oh wait, maybe it is that. I'm gonna string you up like a salami, and then carve you up one slice at a time. Oh, the ultra stun. Okay, I guess I should have figured that. I always forget about that ultra stun. Take that out of your ass. Shut the fuck up about my ass, dude. Oh, I thought I could do a beatdown on him, but I guess not. Oh well. Now I know how to beat those guys up. <laughs> going forward, but yeah, that guy almost totally murdered me because of my Bluetooth. I guess maybe, I don't know, uh, Bosco Dooley says an older driver. It might be that. I don't know. I might need to update my Bluetooth drivers, but I don't know. It, it, it only happens, like, it only happens every now and then, like, very rarely. I'm not sure why, but sometimes it just just cuts out, and I don't know why. I just don't know why. Oh, well. All right. I always I always get confused. I, I really hate the steel mill, because I always get confused where to go next, but I'm pretty sure I gotta use this. I find a way to get through that wall. Gotta do that. And, uh, we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah, definitely not that, but I think I gotta... Okay, yeah, now... Well, I think this is just an optional thing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do the zipline thing. Just just because I want to crash through a wall. That's it. Yeah, it's just the fucking Enigma data pack. Damn it. No, okay. F okay, yeah, I'm definitely... Yeah, I'm definitely... It's the Bluetooth fucking shit again. All right. Plugging, plugging everything in now. Oh, well. This is... It happened twice in a row. It's never happened before. Like, so quickly. All right. It's like, yeah, it's just, like, bugging out now. Okay. Enough Bluetooth bullshit. Man, okay, yeah, it's like... It's having, like, a seizure right now. What? All right. What is it? Okay. Let's get off of Arkham <laughs> Arkham Origins. It's like it's like it's like 2023 is like, hey, guess what? You can't stream Arkham Origins tonight. I'm sorry. It's just not gonna happen. Now I'm trying to find my USB because it's so dark in here. All right, there we go. Okay, plug in the Xbox controller. All right, man, <laughs> God. Okay, but yeah, um, Bosco says, do you use the same controller for PC and console? No, I don't do that. It's just my Bluetooth just went offline for some reason. I don't know why, never had it happen before. Now let's see if my, uh, okay, let's see if I plugged in the right. Okay, let's see if my, Okay, so I don't... Ah, oh, man. All right, where is this? Okay, going through my speaker settings. Okay, I don't really even see... Is it that? What the... Okay, I don't... Ah, damn it. I'm tr okay, wait, I think it's real tech. I think that's what it's fucking called, real... I don't hear anything. Oh, dear Lord. This is so embarrassing. Fucking... Fucking damn it. Plugged in my... Okay. This is like a flashback to, like, when I had these kind of issues all the time when I'd stream. When shit like that, this would just happen nonstop. Turning off Bluetooth. Okay, wait. Is it that one? Please tell me. 
Okay, finally I got something. All right, finally, dear Lord. Okay. Let's, uh, get back. Did the game turn off? Oh, my God. The, the game itself, like, turned off. So now I gotta fucking open it up again. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's just... This game was just not meant to be streamed tonight, I guess. Wait, what the hell happened? Like, now I don't even have... Okay, there we go. Now I got the... Oh, man. <laughs> uh Joshua Clark says, also, if you use a DualShock 4 slash 5, it'll take priority on your PC speakers. No, I use an Xbox controller. All right. So let me see. Let me make sure we have audio. Okay, no, we don't have audio because now I have to switch to the... Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> this is such a nightmare. I hate doing this shit live. I hate it when this kind of fucking technical difficulty shit happens when I'm just live. I like it when things just go smoothly. Should be, uh, no surprise to people. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. All right. Okay, I plugged in the controller, but now it's just, like, not even work- working wired. What? Okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on, work- okay, there we go. I was like, is the controller not even working at this point? Dear Lord. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I gotta fight all these guys again. Because the autosave in this game isn't reliable. Fantastic. I've done so many streams, I've never had the Bluetooth, like, cut out live before. Oh, shit. All right, finally, we're hopefully gonna get out of this steel mill soon. Okay, I should have did that before. That made things so much, so much easier. Gotta focus on this guy. He's the biggest pain in the ass. Okay. Take out all these mob guys and uh, take out that guy before he can hit me. All right, I'm playing slightly better, I hope. All right, time to do the... Ah, oh, shit. I started my punch... Like, I don't know. I, something I don't like about Arkham Origins, and it might be an intentional thing, but I always feel like I'll start my punch before a guy and he'll land his punch before me. Like, I will feel like Batman is just so slow in this game. Oh, man. But sometimes I do get hit because of actual user error. Like that last time. All right. Okay, let's try to make progress. No, I have my Bluetooth turned off. We're not even relying on Bluetooth anymore. Thankfully, we're done with Bluetooth. And then, like, oh, yeah, your USB is just not working now. Oh, man, that'll be great. Okay. But I learned a valuable lesson. Just don't rely on Bluetooth for anything. It can fail you. Okay, do I want to get the data pack? Do I really care that much? Because, yeah, I, okay. Yeah, this is just to get the data pack. I always forget that. I think it's the way forward, but it's just to get I've a data pack. Got to find pack. a way to get through that wall. Unless, yeah, what I'm supposed to be doing is, yeah, okay, wait. Well, I think I do need to get there because that's how I get. That's how I uh, grab, not grapple. That's how I use the um, back claw. I pull the uh, crane, and then, uh, yeah, there we go. So I get here, and, uh, okay, I, clearly I'm, like, misremembering things, or I'm jumping ahead of myself here. I always forget what you do here. But you know what? I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna get that fucking data pack. All right, let's get a little further. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, kick through that door. Yeah, not that door, that wall. 
But yeah, nothing, nothing I need here. All right, let's get back to the main room. There's no oh, way to open the panel from this side. I'll need to find a way to break it down. Oh yeah, oh fuck, I always forget. There's like that thing right there. Oh shit. All right, let's keep moving. J jump, dude, jump, jump. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's how you control it. I always miss that control panel, man. I'm, like, still in Arkham City mode, where... Oh, yeah, you, like, pull the crane, and that's how you break down the wall. Yeah, now I remember, but in this game, it's just... Yeah, you press a button. Looks like the it's not quite as Batman-y. Oh, yeah, but you still do that, though, for this fight. All right, let's do it. Paul here says, do you have a most anticipated That's movie coming out in 2023, Doc? Um, let me think about that. I guess horror movie, it's definitely... What is up with this... T what? It's like Piece of the Wall is just standing up. Okay, I guess it's just like rubble that just awkwardly standing up. All right, whatever. Um, I guess... I guess I'd have to go with Evil Dead Rise as far as horror movies. You know, it is a big horror franchise, but, uh, you know... Looking forward to some more Evil Dead action, you know. See what, uh, <laughs> see what it's gonna be like. Very curious. DK says, this is my favorite Batman game. I'd say this is maybe my third favorite Batman game. But this, this is a lot of folks' this. favorite Batman game, though. Uh, I can use my evidence scanner to examine the body for clues. All right, evidence scanner time. No signs of assault. Oh, his system is shut down. Acute toxicity. Gavin Elrod says, Poison. who's your least favorite Batman? I guess if we're going with, like, live-action versions... Let me think. Um, hmm. Let me think. I guess maybe, um... Val Kilmer, maybe. I don't know. He only had the one movie, but I ne never really got a good feel for him as either a Batman or Bruce Wayne. He just, I don't know, he just kind of looked a little too much like a pretty boy kind of dude as Bruce Wayne. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess I would have to go with Val Kilmer, I suppose. Alright, now, a lot of people like Val Kilmer. I mean, he's a great actor. Just... He just didn't really, you know, have a good run as Batman, unfortunately. And, you know, he had to end up... He basically played second fiddle to uh, Jim Carrey in that movie, too. It's just like... How do you even compete? But, you know, that's the unfortunate thing with any Batman actor, especially the, the Schumacher and... Whoops. Oh, shit. What the... Especially... Ah, oh, shit. Okay, just... You're gonna remember... Focus on taking out this room. That's the unfortunate thing with, like, the Schumacher and Burton era, era is that, you know, it, the Batman barely kind of could even keep up with their villain counterparts as far as, you know, acting chops. You know, it's like, you know, Michael Keaton is great, act is a great actor, but, you know, there's just no way he could, like, compare to Jack Nicholson in his prime as Joker. Like, I don't know. They always get o o overshadowed, which, you know, is does work ultimately because Batman isn't like, you know, a guy who's going to be like in the limelight anyway, like this guy that you're focusing a whole lot of attention on as far as like, I don't know. It, it, it works in those movies favor, but you know, with I don't know, like, with Val Kilmer, he had the tough job of he has to enter this role that's already been established previously, and he also has to go up against Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones. Like, it's just... It's just, uh, I guess, an unfortunate challenge. Just didn't really get to stand out as a Batman. Good eye and it's also just hard for me to even accept Val Kilmer's Batman as, like, a father figure in Batman Forever because he's not really that much older than the Robin, so it's just hard for me to even, like, 
for it to even work. They should have got an older actor for that to work, but instead it felt like maybe Joel Schumacher was like thinking, who's the sick, who's like the sexiest dude that'll look really good in a fucking skin tight leather <laughs> costume with nipples and everything? Not really thinking, who's the best to play this father figure role for this? This tortured orphan. <laughs> I don't know. Barry Elm says, "What's the worst horror movie you have ever seen?" Um, I don't. Uh, let me think. Let me think about that very carefully, because I, I don't know. It's because a lot of the bad horror movies I watch still have some like entertainment appeal, where it's kind of fun to watch them. I'm not like, oh man. Fuck this movie, but, uh. Oh, yeah, okay, that's easy. Thanks, Killing 3. I don't even know how... I, I always, like... I guess it's just one of those things where... When a movie really damages me, I'm just like... I don't even want to remember it. Like, you know, it's just one of those... Okay, watching this thing was, like, a traumatic experience. But, yeah, Thanks, Killing 3, easily. Just a nightmare watching that movie and... Trying to, I don't know, piece it together and even make fun of it just because it's just like it's you can't even really make fun of it all that effectively anyway it's just <laughs> it's just just i don't know it's just so questionably it's just so questionably written like it's uh, i i heard somebody say jeepers creepers reborn and I haven't seen- I never saw a trailer for that. I have no idea how bad that one is. I... <laughs> it's not like, you know, I'm not really into Victor Salva movies, so I have never seen any of the Jeepers Creepers sequels, so, you know, it's not something I, you know, keep an eye out for. All right, I'm gonna adjust the window because it's kind of okay. There we go. That's better. All right, uh, but uh, Victor Zambrano says, "Doc, have you heard of the new Velma show hitting at HBO Max?" I have. I've seen like the little teaser they did, kind of making fun of fandom, but um, it's definitely a wait and see kind of thing. I don't know. Um, I'm not. I'm not totally sure about it. Um, Definitely feels like, I don't know, a Mindy Kaling vehicle. Like, we got we got her to sign, like, a contract to make some shows, so we gotta give her something, and it helps if it's, like, an intellectual property people have heard about. But, you know, I guess we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I can't really... I, I mean, I could take that guy out, but there's, like, another guy right there. He'd go up the staircase. I gotta remember I have these gadgets. Makes it super easy. Just blow that guy up. Kick it any easier than that. Actually, okay, well, let's do that. Let's see if that lands on him and it takes him out. Nope, didn't do that. Nicole L says, Houseboat Horror for Worst Horror Movie. Yeah, I think that's safe to say. Um, it's kind of inept. You know, it's definitely an inept movie. Like, I, do, I can't even really remember what happens in it. It's uh, been a while. Then again, the only time I watched it, I was like talking over it. Always the big talkers that go to Abbey. Okay, yeah, they're they're staggered. Let's do this. Hopefully, he doesn't turn around arbitrarily. Yes, he did. All right. Okay, I thought he would, like, go over to the body, but he didn't. Sweet! Make my life easy, dude. Wait, what? Oh, wait, wait, what? Yeah, that totally bugged out. Like, I started to kick him, and then it acted like I beat the room, but I didn't, and then I did a silent takedown when I was standing up to... Yeah, this game's pretty fucking buggy. Um... Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Arkham Origins itself was causing issues with my Bluetooth drivers or something. Because during the Killer Croc fight, it did cause the audio to cut out. 
Like, my controllers still work, but yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't put it past this game just being, like, buggy to the point where it fucks up your computer. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe that was what was the issue. I'll just blame the game. That's always... That's always a safe bet. Just blame the game for anything. <laughs> All right, enough of the theatrics. Get in here and let me down. All right, time to save Black Mask. Call of Fleur says, Doc, I'm a big fan on YouTube. Hopefully you're a big fan of me on YouTube. You're waiting for something. All right. Time to save Black Mask. And you can tell it's Black Mask because he wears that white suit. Like he's the Colonel. Where's the Joker? Go to hell. Wrong answer. Where's the seven herbs and spices, motherfucker? Tell me! Colby says, I think there were several reviews that reported on major glitches and bugs in the game. Yeah, this game was really buggy on release. Actually, the first time I played it, and is my is my guy not doing lip sync? Okay, now he is. All right. Anyway, when I first played through this game, my playthrough got bugged, unfortunately, which sucks. It basically meant, like, basically what happened is Batman was gliding through the floor forever. There was no way to fix it or anything, and it sucked. Like, it really sucked. Tell him and I'll pay you whatever you want. Make them suffer. So I had to start the game over, and I was really far in the game. It was the point where you do the first boss battle with Bane, so it was like just multiple hours in this game I had to restart and replay. Ah, uh, but anyway, here's Copperhead. She's the main boss in this steel mill. What did you do to me? I killed you. And in a few more minutes, your body will realize it. Yeah, I'm not so sure about Copperhead's brown <laughs> outfit. You know, it's the main thing. Strength. The main issue I have with, with her costume. You hasten your end. Just like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's kind of coppery, but I don't know. It feels like it needs Most more times. color. Anyway, I'm gonna turn down the volume because it's a lot louder compared to when I was in Bluetooth mode in my headset. Eh, let go right there. Find myself feel like I'm yelling a lot. King of the Fat says with the super chat, "Do you think there should do there should be a live action adaptation of the Dark Knight Returns comic with Michael Keaton reprising his role as Batman? Because I believe he's the same age as Bruce Wayne in the comic." Um, I would, I, it would be difficult to do, like, a faithful adaptation of Dark Knight Returns just because there's some weird stuff in it where, you know, that's the thing with, like, some comics is that, when it comes to adapting them, is that, like, some stuff really only works well in a comic. Like, when you get to, like, you know, the third issue of Dark Knight Returns and Batman is fighting... You know, a chick with swastikas over her titties. Like, that looks really cool and crazy in a comic. But when you do that in, like, a movie, it looks just really weird. <laughs> like, it's just like, I don't know. I guess it wouldn't be a faithful adaptation. You know, Zack Snyder did, like, an indirect adaptation of Dark Knight Returns with Batman v Superman, but... Female perspiration. You know, we kind of got that sort of... And, you know, Dark Knight Rises was also s had some Dark Knight Rises aspects to it. But um, I would like to see, you know, Michael right. Keaton return in some form. I'm just not sure if he's the best choice for, like, the Dark Knight Returns necessarily. I don't know, because... I don't know, it's, it's something to think about, but I wouldn't necessarily cast him as that version of Batman. Just because, like, the Frank Miller Batman is fucking gigantic. He's, like, this huge dude, so I don't know. Be cool to have, like, I don't know, just a there. much more muscle-bound actor play Batman. It would be cool to see, you know, Michael Keaton play Alfred. the Batman oh, Beyond analysis. Batman, Bruce Wayne, you know. He'd be the right age for that. I need you to synthesize an antidote. Your vitals are off the charts. What happened? Uh, never mind. Just get up to ground level so I can send in an airdrop. 
And after this, you're coming back here so I can have a look at you. Victor Zambrano says, Honestly, how is Copperhead going around Gotham City during Christmas and not freezing to death? Ah, uh, that's a good question, actually. Um... Uh... Reptiles are cold-blooded, so yeah. She, if she's like, you know, part snake, she would probably freeze to death, like, especially like how scandally clad she is. to get to ground level. But, you know, it's a... Antidote. Yeah, she looks sexy, so that's all that really matters when they design these characters. Like, you know, it's the same thing in, like, Arkham City. Like, Harley Quinn is wearing just this skin-tight outfit showing off cleavage, and it's, like, snowing in that game, too. And it's just, like, not thinking about it. Poison Ivy probably has no heating in her secret lair, and she's, like, just down to her cleavage. Like, down to her, like, panties and shit. Like, it's just... What would your father <laughs> say if he could see you now? throwing away your family's hard-earned fortune man alfred you're such a fucking escorts. bummer and for what you're not this city's savior you're a wane and a spoiled wasteful disappointment of a wane at that have you forgotten what your family name stands for you disappoint me you disappoint me Gavin Elrod says, have you heard of Ken Penders? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of him. He's the guy who <coughs> made a whole bunch of Knuckles OC in the old Archie comics, Sonic. The old Sonic the Hedgehog Archie comics. Yeah, I'm familiar with him. He seems like he's a bit of a weirdo. Uh, <laughs> you could have saved me if you'd only come sooner. Maverick Media what says, Doc, you what's your favorite Batman live-action film? Um, hero. A real hero. I feel like, I don't know, it's one of those things where they all kind of, there hasn't been, like, a perfect Batman movie for me where it, like, hits everything, where it's like, oh, this one has the best, like, to me, the best atmosphere is, you know, the Tim Burton ones and the best story like the best use of batman as a detective has been like the new the batman movie and it got gets a lot of the atmosphere really well like it does a lot of the atmosphere aspects really well and, you know has like a good adaptation of frank miller's year one sort of universe kind of but at the same time i feel like i don't know the best story overall and the best movie and the best performances was definitely the dark knight but it's not necessarily the best adaptation of Batman as a character, but it, you know, the Nolan movies became more of a character study, where it's like, what if Batman was a real guy, you know? Let's just do that. Not necessarily do the perfect adaptation of Batman from the comics, though. We were better off without you. I'd still be alive without you. Man, that's some really rough Botox. You gotta get a refund. Gotta get a lawsuit in please you what's wrong with you oh shit i was like looking at the chat didn't realize we were throwing down already all right get the hell off me get off me is that uh. the best you can do honestly yeah that is the best i can do sorry why does every woman say that to me <laughs> Oh man, I was hoping for a little lesbian action. Oh well. Is what it is. It is what it is. You are not gonna like what comes next. I'm kinda liking it, honestly. I'm kinda liking it. I will pick you up piece by piece. Ooh, I like the little jiggle physics. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot how to... The Bluetooth... The Bluetooth bugs just completely have thrown me off playing this game. Are you struggling? No, I'm not struggling. I'm doing perfectly fine playing this game, Copperhead. Oh man. I'm really tripping out right now. Okay, I'm doing okay. All right, just gotta dodge. 
Okay, sweet. Got it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this cape, but um. Okay, I'm doing okay. Just gotta stay in the stay in the zone. Just continuously beating the shit out of all these Latina snake women with Karen haircuts. Honestly, I don't know why her name is Copperhead. The name Latina Karen with the the name Snake Latina Karen it, it works a lot better, I think. Okay. Ah, oh, she got me. Oh, that was the real Copperhead. I don't know why I'm, like, still kicking the asses of all these other ones. Just gotta keep punching her. <laughs> oh, my God. King of the Fat has a hidden comment that says, Titties are the best body part God has ever created. Amen, my friend. <laughs> Amen. Dear Lord. Take it easy, King of the Fat. Oh, yeah, she does like a thing and I gotta dodge it. Alright. Come on, Copperhead. Come on. I know you want to come out. Cabron? I take offense to that. Are you struggling? Come on, Copperhead. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. Oh, motherfucker. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Time to take my medicine. Man, lots of horny comments getting automatically hidden by YouTube. As God intended. You think you're cured? My poison is still in your veins and it will remain there as long Man, as Man, nice jiggle which physics. Won't be very long. You gotta miss those. You don't see them as often nowadays. You also don't get to, like, do that very often in games, too. Just... You think these ties will hold me? Maybe not. Oh, this is really kinky. All right, yeah. I know where he is. The Joker. Tell me. He's called the meeting. All the assassins will be there. When you set me free, I'll tell you where. Thanks. I owe you one. Wait! I can tell you the location. You already did. <laughs> And that's why we never saw Copperhead again. She she died. Alfred, send GCPD an anonymous tip. Tell them to look inside the shipping containers at the steel mill. And does that mean you've dealt with Copperhead, sir? Yes, and I'm about to deal with the Joker. All right. Do you think that's wise after what you've just been through? You should come back here for medical. She's night. fine. Alfred. Electric. Yeah, GCPD probably just forgot. A magnetic signal which I can follow with my scanner. He'll lead me right to the Joker. Man, I Batman. Get out of the steel mill first. Give me a moment to talk myself, Batman. You're always fucking gabbing. In a monologue, shit. Oh man, your back's killing you, dude. It's about to get a lot worse. You're gonna get blown up. Oh, this guy is gonna just get the most fun. There we go. Oh, there's another guy. Okay, he's also gonna have a fun time right now. There we go. Destroy the canister before moving on. Crushed his skull. Kenzie says, hi all. Doc has given us the new year. That. So nice of him. You know, originally I was supposed to be playing the New Year's DLC by now, but I just didn't really fit in another playthrough Alfred, of this game. So now I'm just a finishing this game. Hopefully I get to the New Year's DLC for high concentration tonight. Oh, man. Find the source, and I can shut it down. Certainly. I'll alert you as soon as I find something. Stop talking, Batman. Just want a moment of peace and silence.
Barry says, I know it's just a game, but Copperhead is pretty sexy. Someday you'll be able to... Hmm. I'm not picking up electrocution. You'll be able to date that. video game characters, I'll need to get to higher so... Ground. The central pillar on Pioneer... It won't always do. just be a video game. Someday that technology will exist. And you know what? I think society will flourish once we get to that point. It definitely won't collapse. Alright. Oh man, there's a sniper. He thought he could get me. <laughs> Think I get. Oh shit. Oh no, no. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's got a beat on me. Oh no. Okay, yeah, he definitely could get me. Oh. That, not fun. About a disturbance nearby. I'm sending the coordinates to your map. You may wish to investigate. Alfred, shut the fuck up about side missions. The Joker is literally going to blow up Gotham. Like, there's more important stuff to be done tonight. Okay. Let's... Finally, home in on Joker's signal. I'm sure it's not going to just be the tallest building in Gotham. It's definitely going to be something very surprising. Oh, wait, no, I got to go to a specific point, the tallest point on the bridge. Where is that? Oh, yeah, it's right up here. There we go. All right, time to find Electrocutioner. There we go. There. I just need to track the signal to his location. Huh, I wonder if it's that tall building over there. Eh, probably not. It's probably like some really indistinct, you know, secret hideout. Just a small warehouse or something. Something you could the definitely easily stronger. miss. The Joker's meeting must be in New Gotham. Ooh, New Gotham. Ah! Oh. Alright, I didn't have to beat the fuck out of these random guys, but they have guns and shields and stuff. That's kind of suspicious. Okay, getting back into the uh, groove of things, I think, hopefully. Feels so good. You're all dead men. Good luck waking up in time before you die in your sleep. All right. Gotham's hospital has got to be super busy tonight. All right. Let's see. Close combat upgrades. Oh, we're almost there. Just one more upgrade, and I have the best upgrade in the game. Just one more. Just one more. Colby says, the Joker's always threatening to blow up Gotham. This is just a regular occurrence for the Dark Knight, but this is the first time. Batman doesn't know yet that he's going to have to do this, like, every week. It's got to suck. Like, it's probably like, probably like, honestly, after this first time, after he's done it a few times beating the Joker, he's got to be like, all right, I'm pretty much just on autopilot at this point. I'm just going through the motions. Like, every week, it's this fucking Joker guy. He gets out blows up some buildings, you know, it's just, I'm just sick of it, I'm so over it. There's the signal, looks like. But tonight, it's very serious, though, because hotel. this is the first time it ever happened, like, he didn't know yet that this is gonna be, like, something he always has to do, fucking snipers. Ah, oh, man. Potential assignment incoming. All right. Channel open. Whoa, the Gotham Royal Hotel? I wouldn't have thought Joker would be hiding there. The Wait, man, those snipers are good. Security. I need to find out what's going on here. Damn. All right. Oh, dear lord, I hate those snipers. Oh, what the hell? Like mid-air, he hit punches me. That's bullshit. That's a Matrix shit. Come on. Oh, what the? Oh. Son of a bitch. Got some fancy moves. I 
Looks like the gangsters are kind of hanging out with the SWAT guys. That's that's nice and cute. Nope, I don't think so, pal. Put down the fire extinguisher. The fire's right here. All right. I need any unassigned unit for special assignment. Stand by. Honestly, he had that fire extinguisher the whole time. They didn't once think to put out those fires. It's like, do they want the whole building to fucking burn up? Like, come on. Use the fire extinguishers. Those burning cars aren't going to be helping you out in the long run. Jimmy, Jimmy Comer says, I'm in the middle of the Atlantic on an inflatable raft and it's about to turn midnight. Happy New Year's. In the middle of the Atlantic. I, I kind of wonder what time zone. Hopefully you're not like lost at sea. Hopefully it's not that kind of a situation. Because if you have like, you know, an internet connection and a phone, maybe you should try to use that to save yourself. But you know, that's just my, that's just my suggestion. Master Bruce, has the Joker taken a room at the Gotham Royal? He's in here. But here, New Year's is still two hours away. the media away from whatever's going on inside. Doesn't Brandon realize it's not Black Mask he's working with? I guess you'll find out when I bring in the Joker. King of the Fat says, anyone here is or was a theater kid in both middle and high school? Absolutely not. Hey guys, um, why are you guys, okay, I thought you guys were identical for a second, but no, no that guy's got like a long nose, anyway. All right. Okay, looks like we gotta, well, let's see if I can glide kick the martial arts guys. Oh, I, I can, all right, let's do that. Ah, oh, well, I took him out, that's the main thing. What are we doing? You wait right there. Martial arts guys are a fucking pain in the ass. They're like better at martial arts than Batman. I don't think so, pal. I probably should be using the multi-bat takedown, batarang takedown, but I'm not. Oh, I wasted that. Why did I do that? There's like no guys on the ground. Who's got the gun? Okay, that guy's got the gun. All right. Give me that gun. What? How did my combo get broken? What What happened? I just did like a combo there and combo takedown and it just like ruined my combo? What? Okay, whatever. All right, let's keep moving. Hotel? Why would anyone... Okay, this is like a hotel. Why would anyone include the word hotel in their password? Like, that's just bad. Royal Hotel? That's the worst password ever. That's the name of the building. Man, just really not secure. Oh, wow. And I guess that's like what... I guess that's like what uh, hotels will make their Wi-Fi passwords, I suppose. Just something really simple. Anyway, uh, all right. For some reason, I was thinking, okay, there's no way I can battering the electricity-ridden button, but nope, yeah, I can. Uh, awesome. That's what I like to see. All right. Mmm, I'm really thirsty for some soda cola for some reason. I see soda cola in lots of, like, DC video games, and I'm just kind of wondering what it tastes like. Is it like... Is it like just like Coke, or is it more like a fucking... Is it more like Tab or Diet Right? Like, what's the... What's the flavor? I'm really curious. I'm hoping eventually we get one of those, like, limited time things where it's like, soda cola is real! Get it now while supplies last. Sir, do you know 
know just where in the hotel the Joker is located? Not yet. Why? Well, it looks like there's a security room in the hotel lobby. You could use the cameras to find him. Okay. Chandler Burst says, soda cola tastes like banana muffin, probably. It doesn't... It doesn't sound like it tastes good at all. I've never heard of banana muffin building. soda before. I other surprises I'll find. guess I'd be curious. You know, I saw... They, they brought back Crunch Taters... Which, if you're unfamiliar, Crunch Taters was this, um, was essentially this chip that existed in the 80s and 90s. You could see it briefly in Home Alone. Like when, uh, you know, when Kevin's watching Angels with Filthy Souls on TV, he's eating Crunch Taters. And it's got, like, you know, the packaging has, like, this alligator. I never had one of the, I never had a bag of those before. And I got a bag, they have it for a limited time. And it's just regular Lay's, just with yes, me, a little bit more crunchiness. But I was so disappointed. I was like, ah, oh, this is going to taste really unique and different. Unless they just, like, got lazy. They're just like, okay, let's just package some crunchier Lay's in a bag and call it the same thing. I'm sure, like, some people who had crunch taters in the 90s, they're like, no, it, it, it tastes totally different from that limited time version they came out with in 2022, trust me. And greetings to you, Ryan McClellan. Alright, let's find the guy who's disrupting my detective mode. Oh! Okay, he's down there, and, oh, okay, there's like a guy in the line of sight. Okay, I can't do that. Let's take out a different guy for now, or... Actually, yeah, let's just do this. Let's do easy mode. Uh, oh, took out two guys at once. Sweet. All right, well, let's see. Um, damn it. Colby Jones says, has anyone ever actually been in an elevator that played overhead music? Yeah, I've never been in an elevator that played music. It's nice, though. It's a nice touch. I feel like every elevator should have, like, a speaker system. You know, but this is the Gotham Royal Hotel, though. They... It's nice. You know, they got elevator music. Honestly, I wish we could go back to the days when elevators had, like, operators. You had to have, like, a guy who pressed the button for you. I've only seen that on, like, TV... In TV shows and movies. I would love that. Just, just do everything for me. Just create j unnecessary jobs. Like, that's the key thing. That's how we're gonna beat automation. Just bring back these really unnecessary jobs. Like, bring back the guy who, you know, fills your gas tank for you at the gas station. You don't need that. You could do it yourself. But, uh, just, just bring it back. You know, just, <laughs> just give people something to do. God, like, just imagine, like, that's your job, though. <laughs> like, just... <laughs> the simplest tasks. Ugh. And greetings and Happy New Year to you, Vanessa. Good to have you here on this night. Gavin Elrod says, thoughts on Sonic Frontiers. Oh, I beat that game, um, last month. And I thought it was fine. I thought it was really... I don't know. I, I had a... I had fun with it, but I still felt like it was a really sloppy game. Like, it was just not really well... well designed or anything, but it was made fun just for, you know, just being able to play as Sonic in an open world. I felt like the late level design was some of the just worst in the series, and I felt like just recycling assets from Sonic Generations was just really lazy. Like, you know, all that stuff was pretty bad. But... You know, Sonic fans are, like, really insisting it's one of the best games ever made, and, like, a game of the year, a genuine game of the year contender, just because it's, like, a, you know, a playable Sonic game. They don't get the, those very often, but, uh, you know, I'm hoping, you know, it leads to some better, better Sonic games, because it was overall pretty okay. <laughs> Jimmy Comer says, enjoying the high seas on my floaty waiting for rescue. While I wait, what do you want to see in future Batman games? Do they return to Arkham or someplace new? Well, 
I essentially, I've always wanted a Batman game where you do get an open world Gotham to explore. And where you do get to just take on cases in any order. Where it's like a Breath of the Wild thing where you might have like your main case, your main objective, but you can choose to just not even do, not even like do it like you could just take on all these other cases all these other villains and just do something like that i thought i always thought that would be cool but with you know the arkham gameplay at the center but with just a more free free just a free roaming aspect to it where it isn't you know where it isn't like okay you have to you have to do this main mission uh, Otherwise, you can't do any of the other missions. Like, I don't know. I just would like something with just a lot more freedom to it. Get to be Batman any way you want to be. I know one of those guys has, like, the goggles that can see through uh, gas. So... I can't throw down the smoke pellet. Damn it. Okay, wait. That guy's that guy's got the disruptor. So wait, can I Ooh, inverted take that sweet. Hell yeah. No, please! Okay, well, he's still disrupting me. I guess I shouldn't have thought that would work, but uh oh well. Okay, sweet. Now it's offline. Okay. Whoa, that guy's just, like, twirling around. He's like a ballerina. He's... It's beautiful. I guess neither of them have the, uh... Goggles in reality. Sweet. Okay, now I can just take him out. Sorry to ruin your ballerina twirl, pal. I'm sorry. Very rude of me. to enter the security room and look for the joke. Reverend Werewolf says real women women will one day go the way of the dodo. Okay, that sounds threatening. All right. All right. Continue on to the essential reception room where everything happens in a hotel like this. Okay, spy, spy, spy. I spy. All right. Weird password for a reception room of a hotel. Friends, oh, this is a cool cutscene. Assassins. Welcome to our first quarterly performance review. Still pretending to be see, Black Mask. Batman deaths are coming in far below projection. <laughs> we are huh. Black Mask is a lot more eccentric than he usually is. Oh, that looks like a fun game. We, I mean you. <laughs> Got that, Mr. Cushioner? King of the Fat has a super chat. Is Goulash like your version of Alfred? I wish he was that useful. Definitely not. And the gun. Then again, I feel like Alfred wouldn't even make YouTube videos, so, you know, I guess Goulash has some uses. So do you have anything else to contribute? I didn't think so. No! Not Electrocutioner! He's my favorite Batman villain! Well, what are they doing? Electrocutioner, you can still live! You can... Oh, no. Okay, yeah, he's... Yeah, he's dead. Um... Aw, oh, shit. That's such a waste. Electrocutioner has so much narrative potential in a game like this. I, I don't know. Ah, oh, man. Okay. It's fantastic. Ah, oh, that's how you know Joker really is evil. Anyone want a piece? All right, meetings adjourned. Get out there and kill the bat. Move it along, big boy. No, he's coming for you now. And when he gets here, I'm going to kill him. 
I like his little smile here. He's like, oh, okay. So you wait. Bring out the gem. <laughs> well, <laughs> this should be interesting. Michael Diaz says, Electrocutioner is the only villain I never heard of in this game. Very obscure villain. I think they only put him in this game just to give Joker... Well, okay, for two purposes. Should get me to give Joker a, a, one of the villains they Maybe could just kill and shot gloves could not have to worry about continuity because no one's going to bring back Electrocutioner. And also, to give Batman these, like, shock gloves, they were probably like, what's a Batman villain that has, like, shock abilities? Because we're giving him these shock gloves that he had in our Wii U port of Arkham City that we developed, so let's just figure out a way we can give him these fucking things. All right. Well, Electrocutioner, it, it was nice knowing you. Oh, yeah, he's definitely deceased. I don't know why Batman doesn't attempt to resuscitate him like he does f for other characters later in the game. Um, I guess he's just like, yeah, it's fucking electrocutioner, who cares? All right. He's still useful in death, though. He's still useful. Reverend Werewolf says, I never understood why they made a sequel to this game. Why they didn't make a sequel to this game. Well... Originally, WB Montreal was going to make the Suicide Squad game, and that was going to be, like, the spin-off game. They set it up in this game. They have Deathstroke get, uh, hired by Amanda Waller and everything, but WB Montreal isn't... isn't a super competent developer. Like, you know, with this game, they had, like, the... they had Arkham City to work off of. So they had, like, a proven model, but they're... It's clear, like, with Suicide Squad, like, making something from scratch. Like, that's not quite their strong suit. So, their Suicide Squad game just went through development hell until eventually Warner Brothers was just like, let's just give the Suicide Squad game to Rocksteady. And I think Rocksteady also had pro problems with other games they had in development. I think maybe they were possibly trying to make a Superman game, but it just didn't materialize because they couldn't figure out how to... Not yet. Do Superman well in a video game, I guess. But the Joker's men are everywhere. This was a great golden age, though, where we had like a steady, just a steady run of great Batman games, great superhero games, and I guess we'll have to see if Rocksteady uh, comes back and does a great job with Suicide Squad. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that was really lucky. You ain't lived, Enjoy the show, buddies. Shake it off, boys. Don't shake it off, boys. Oh, shit, I didn't even see that guy. It always sucks when they, like, wind up their punches off-screen. It's like, how am I supposed to even anticipate that? I feel like that's something that doesn't happen in, like, the Rocksteady Batman games, but it happens pretty often in this one. Man, Joker couldn't afford some better TVs than these wood panel CRT? Come on. Come on, man. I got rid of my wood panel CRT in the fucking early 2000s, buddy. Okay, uh... Yeah, let's keep moving. Hopefully this is the right way. Okay, yeah, the laundry room. This is definitely the right way to go. Oh, wait, nope. There we go. Zachary says... I love your videos, and who do you think will survive or die in Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League? Well, I mean, in, in the title, it seems clear that Rocksteady is just going to be killing off their entire Justice League. Like, that's the whole thing, is you're just killing off each member of the Justice League, which, you know, it's a cool gimmick, I guess, but the fact that they said that it does take place in their Arkhamverse, I just don't like that. It feels like, I don't know... 
Um, just feels like, I guess, a bit of a waste, but, uh, it seems like the Justice League, they're definitely gonna die. Like, you're gonna get to brutally kill Kevin Conroy's Batman, possibly, I don't know, because we'll see. Oh, God. Dear Lord. Um, great way to remember him. Um, but, uh, I don't think any of the main members of the Suicide Squad are gonna die necessarily. Oh, wait, this is where I fucking came from, damn it. Because, I don't know, like, the whole gameplay mechanic... I mean, I guess maybe it, when you get towards the end of the game, you'll have, like, some end-game choices that uh, will decide who lives and who dies. Okay, yeah, I gotta charge this thing here. Yeah. So I guess if it's, like, a Mass Effect 2 kind of situation, I guess that's how it can work. But otherwise, I don't know, the me mechanic is that you can switch between these four characters. So I can't imagine them, like, just, I don't know... I think it, I don't know, it'd be cool if it's based on your choices, so you get to decide who lives and who dies, and it's not just a, um, well, they, they just, they just are scripted to die, you know, that's just how it is. It's always more fun when you get to just decide. And honestly, I like it better in games where they, oh, I thought those guys were henchmen. Ah, oh, damn it. They're hostages. I like it better in games where they're very clear what your choices, what the consequences of your choices would be. I don't like it when, like, a game surprises me with the consequences. When I'm like, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Like, how was I supposed to know that? Like, that always sucks when it's just like, I made a choice and they're like, they guilt trip you. They're like, this is what happened because you made that choice. I don't know. So, it would suck if they gave you the choice of who lives and who dies, but you, you don't know how it'll play out, like, I don't know. I'm hoping it's like a, guess what? This is, th if you do this, Harley Quinn will die. Like, I like it better when it's like that, when it's not just, oh, because you did that, Harley Quinn died. You didn't know that was gonna happen though, but guess what, you know? Man, these guys are identical. Please, d d don't hurt me. I won't, I'm here to help. What is up okay. with that guy's please, face? Please, they've got my friends. Holding them hostage in the overview bar. Is that Dracula? The suspended bar between the towers. Jay Dashington says, I really hope Kill the Justice League is just an attention-grabbing title and nothing more. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like... It's... I don't know. It's one of those things where, I don't know, it probably would have been better if they just called it Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad game. I don't know. I don't know why... It needed that extra subtitle. So what's the second game gonna be called? Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League 2? Or... And actually, how do you, like... How do you top that for a sequel? Like, what do they kill next? <laughs> they already killed the Justice League. What did... <laughs> uh. I've got a special gift just for you right up here. And it's wrapped in about 400 pounds. Oh man, he's gonna blow up this building, huh? Oh well, that's not good. Anyway, uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Wait, how do I get over there again? Oh yeah, yeah. Man, honestly, I love these cute little uh, lamps. You see them at like Ikea and stuff. I need to get one of those. Crap. Reverend Werewolf says I'm still waiting for my Superman game. Someone's about to get shot. Yeah, I'm. Re I was really hoping Rocksteady was going to make a definitive Superman game, because it honestly it felt like with the mechanics and everything, with I don't know, with how Batman's gliding worked in Arkham Knight, it really felt like you were basically just flying for an extended period of time, like you could just glide forever, and like just dive and rise like to your heart's content while gliding as batman and arkham knight it felt like okay this lead leads up to superman but they just like they even came out and said we don't think a superman game can work so oh a sucker ball well, this is unfortunate for you i mean for me it's it's all into joker acted like i got shot there but i didn't i don't know what he's talking about oh wait Close combat upgrades. Okay, here we go. Oh, hell yeah. I finally got it, folks. The best upgrade in the game. In any Batman game. The special combo boost. 
I can't get you. Here we go. So what are you gonna do? Yeah, actually, what am I gonna do? How do I get? How do I get to? Oh yeah, there we go. All right. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta hold down. Okay. Here we go. Oh shit. Martial arts guy. Oh sh wait. It didn't even let me punch that other guy. Oh man, this game is what the I pressed the Oh yeah. Forgot the martial arts guys. They need to be countered twice. They're special snowflake enemies. Oh my god, it's so janky. I'm pressing the counter button. It's just like, no, nah, you didn't press it. Fuck you. Okay, let's just take it easy, guys. Let's take care of that guy. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, yeah, I got the, uh... Hey, guess what, dude? Get a mouthful of electricity. I'm sure they talk a big game, but put any of them in the old electric chair, and they ball like little girls. Trust me, I've done the research. Colby Jones says, Suicide Squad killed the Watchmen. Oh, man. Just... Just, like, let's ruin Watchmen even more. <laughs> I did like, I don't know, I did like the HBO show, but... I need to get to the top of this ventilation. The... DC, like, the fucking... Doomsday Clock... Comic series they made with Watchmen. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> and I hear, I'm hearing they're gonna make Dr. Manhattan his own DC superhero now, called The Watchmen. Oh, dear lord. Oh, man. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, there we go. Gavin Elrod says, what if they did Suicide Squad, but with Scooby-Doo villains? Okay, that would be an interesting movie. Oh, well. Then again, I mean... What would they... I don't know. What would the Scooby-Doo villains be tasked to take down? Um, that the Scooby... That the Scooby-Doo gang couldn't do themselves. Like, um... Trying to think. Like, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna task these Scooby Doo villains to take down a Russian dignitary or something like what? Like, what do you fucking get them to do that Scooby Doo gang can't do? I don't know. We need these Scooby Doo villains to assassinate. This oligarch. <laughs> God. Incredible. Well, they really outdid themselves with this penthouse suite. The bathroom has three kinds of soap. I mean, who has time for all that cleaning? I usually just hop into a vat of acid and call it a day. <laughs> oh man, I was really hoping I get to punch his junk, but oh well. Joker's sleigh ride. Oh, that sounds fun. I want to ride that. It sounds like a fun, wacky amusement park. How did he do this in the span of just a few hours? Wow. And this is a huge room, like this... Like, I guess this Royal Hotel has just a huge opera theater, like on like the top floor for some reason? I don't know. <laughs> place is huge. Michael Diaz says, the Scooby-Doo villains are going to kill Flim Flam, Doc. Okay, well, that's a... I'm definitely rooting for them in that case. What are you waiting for? I kind of wonder if you can hear the fireworks going off near my... near the wolf you lair. kind of wondered about that. I'm not a big fan of people who, I don't know, who do their New Year's fireworks before midnight. Like, I don't know. It's just like, eh. Just save it. Come on. What do I do here again? 
I did a playthrough of this game in the summer, so I don't know why I'm like blanking on how to do this shit. All right. I played through this game on my Steam Deck last time, so... I don't know why I'm like, okay, um... What do I do here again? I just can't remember. Why am I even saving these gangsters, though? They've killed so many lives. They've killed so many lives. It's, it's really redundant. Oh, man. Anyway. Probably should have said they took so many lives, not killed so many lives. What? I'm not gonna kill you, but I don't have to save you. Like, you know, that's always... That should always be Batman's motto. Okay, yeah, I forgot, actually. I gotta go around that hallway. I don't know why I thought, okay, you know, that's an optional Riddler trophy area. No, no, you gotta go this way. There we go. Remote control battering time. All right, now where? In the hell is, is it in the other eye? Is it in the other eye? Let me see. Oh yeah, yeah I think it's in the other. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Sweet. All right. Joker, I need my belt to keep my pants up. You can't take it away. Kenzie says, I didn't like the Joker solo film, but excited Lady Gaga is playing Harley Quinn in the sequel. Interesting casting. Um, a lot of people, I felt like the Joker movie was a good movie, now like, as, it, as its own thing, but I was disappointed with it. I was kind of hoping we'd see this guy go from, like, a loser to being this really competent, essentially crime lord slash serial killer, but it... Definitely felt like he was just like, I don't know, just still a schmuck by the end of the movie, but I, don't know, I guess we'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah, this is like a fucking Simon game. Alright, let's. Just do it already. Oh, wait, no. No, yeah, I am standing on it. Wait, did I? Oh, wait, wait. I think I missed the pattern. Okay, yeah, now I see the pattern. All right. That one. That one. That one. And that one. Hey, hell yeah. Okay, that one, that one, that one. All right. Simple enough. Just a simple Simon game. This is, you know, a fun carnival ride, but okay, yeah, that was super easy. All right, let's keep going. I can't believe that guy is surprised I was able to fucking do that. Joker, shut up for a second. I'm trying to collect my thoughts here. Oh, sweet. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. I started my punch before that guy. Oh, man. Oh, oh that was close. This is gonna get okay, dude, just, just... Okay, there we go. Alright, awesome. Okay, oh no! Let go of me, dude. Aw, oh, damn it. Okay. Give me some space here. I'm trying to... Trying to beat the fuck out of this other guy. Oh, sweet. Hell yeah. Whoa. You fucking ruptured that guy's spleen, Batman. Wow. Kick ass. Reverend Werewolf says... For a Superman game, you just gotta give Superman villains that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. He has plenty. 
the key thing, the issue with Superman is just being true to what he can do. Like, you know, Superman, he can punch through a wall. So you have to create walls. Like, ideally, you have to try to, like, you know, okay, I'm Joker's talking so much. I'm going <laughs> to... Ideally, you got to make it so, like, you know, you can do the things you expect to do as Superman. And that could be very, very challenging because, you know, he could fly. So you have to give him this huge metropolis to work with. And it's like a futuristic kind of looking city. So you have to design this kind of city that doesn't exist. Uh, ideally, so you have to do that. You have to give him this huge world. You have to be able to, like, make it so he can, like, you know, do the shit he, you expect him to do, like, break down walls, like... But you have to like take into consideration like what if he what if he like breaks buildings and shit and kills people like and you're like well how do we handle metropolis does it is it populated how do we make it so he's not like you know realistically not killing people all over the place because he's superman it's hard to do that and it's also hard to like populate the game with regular enemies superman fights like you could do like well there's like robots and shit that he could fight like on the regular because otherwise regular human henchmen aren't gonna really do anything against him so you have to like i don't know it's just like you have to like invent a lot of stuff for a superman game for it to work but that's like you know that's the fun thing it's like it's a challenge you know, but it's like a challenge a lot of developers just aren't interested in even even attempting. Because it's just, it's a huge challenge in a video game. And also he's like one of the most iconic characters in fiction. Why are you doing this? Everybody knows who Superman is, so it's like, you know, it's a serious thing to like live up to, too. So it's just one of those things where it's just like, it's a delicate process making a Superman They're forcing them. Don't worry. I'll get to them before anything happens. Okay. Hurry! But, you know, I really want a great Superman game. We got a great Spider-Man. We got great Spider-Man games. We got great Batman games. You know, I feel like that's the next thing. That's the next step. Just trying to crack the code of how do you make a full-blown Superman game work? Do it justice. says we can kill him. Guys, look. I'm on TV. Hi, Ma. Hey, Vicky. Come here, baby. Get a shot of this. But, you know, at the same time, I feel like we have gotten the best Superman game ever. Because, like, when he's, like, flying through those rings in the N64 game, like, honestly, pretty fun. Anyway, let's keep moving. Wait, what? Why is that guy punching air? All right, whatever. I'm going to take my time with you. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, yes. Sweet. That's what I like. That's what I like to see. No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. Put the gun down. Your, your homies are in this... Are in this room. You don't want to shoot your homies, do you? Ah, oh, sweet. Instant takedown. The hostages are Nicola safe. says, still waiting to see an NES Batman playthrough. I'm not sure if I'll play through, like, the NES games or anything like that. Um, just because, I don't know, I suck at NES games anyway, but... <laughs> Oh, man, I was really hoping I could just punch through this cardboard, but nope. But, I, you know, I think this is going to be the last Batman game playthrough I do for a while. Going to be going back to horror game streams. Either going to... I think maybe the Callisto Protocol, or maybe another one of those fucking narrative horror games where you make choices and shit. Guess we'll see what I go with. Or, you know... Oh, well, actually, I I do... I did say I wanted to try to stream the Friday the 13th game, see how it holds out 2023. But, yeah... It, 
gonna be done with Batman for a while, but eventually I'll come back to it to stream Arkham Knight. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, this is just some really tacky Christmas decorating. I agree. Ooh, Happy New Year! New Year. I Sweet. Be able to disarm them with my cryptographic sequencer. See, playing this game tonight was very timely. All right, seven days till New Year. Oh man. Well, let's just wait. Um, I wish it was real time. I wish it like could sense. Oh yeah, New Year is tonight. Just, uh, just an hour and a half. Nope. But we gotta wait seven days if we want this timer to go off. And blow up this building. Okay, now let's just... Let's just solve the problem, I guess. Around the sun. Um, happy new... New... New year! Hell yeah! Oh, shit! 22 seconds. Oh, um, uh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, sweet. Good Lord. Man, the family that was on that floor? Oh, they are screwed. Oh, this is Vicki Vale reporting live from the Gotham Royal Hotel, where there has just been a massive explosion. What kind of color scheme is this for a news helicopter? Yellow and green? What? From the bottom of our helicopter. Man, that's really ugly. Well, wow, okay. Several armed men have gathered on a balcony. Those men have guns. We gotta go. We wait for him to jump. After years of on and off. All right, sweet. With no recorded video, we've seen the bat twice tonight and caught him on film. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh, shit. Oh, there was another counter icon. Damn it. Is he about to become a public figure? One thing's for sure. After what I've seen him what do tonight... What do you mean, is he about to become a public to figure? A name. What are you talking about, Vicky Vale? Are you... The Batman on live television. This is Vicky Vale signing off. They fight like drunk and idiotas. If they survive, I'll kill them. I like Bane's henchmen just, uh, talking shit about the other henchmen. Like children in our barrio. Once we kill the back... Sweet. I'm I'm really glad they kind of dropped the um, electric gauntlets thing after this game because it's just like I don't know. It's just it makes it really overpowered. So that's a that's an aspect. But also it's just like. Why does ba why is Batman like an electrical superhero? Oh, like where is that coming from? He killed one of his well, he didn't kill the villain. He took one of his villains' his gadgets, and he's just like, I guess it's kind of like a Mega Man thing, though. Where it's like one of the bad guys gets taken out, so you get his powers. By he takes out the Joker, and he gets the Joker's sense of humor. Ah, oh, dude, not cool. All right, sweet. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Try to resist, and I'll kill them all. Here's to Gotham, turned upside down. Come Xmas Day, I run this town. Oh, man. Oh, this is nice and festive, though. I never really took the Joker for a huge Christmas fan, but uh, it's clear it's one of his passions. Johnny P says, hey doc, did you ever finish the Blair Witch Hunt to Killer game? Happy New Year. Yeah, I just never had a free moment to complete the series. I have the full series of games. One of these days, I'll finally go through them all. I don't need any allies. But, uh, I thought it was really a really cool concept. Had to get it. And I, you know, just, they're just really, I don't know, they're just really, they take a lot of time. But remember, our primary objective is the bat. We must remain vigilant. We not. 
Oh, sweet. I took out a mine henchman. Hell yeah. You're right. Bye, pal. Test your words. The bat is coming. Now, this is one of the more challenging uh, predator maps. Um, just because, I don't know, there's lots of... There's not a lot of... Um, not a lot of... I, I don't know. Just because it's got the mine henchmen and there's just not a lot of um, spots where you can do a lot of hiding. I don't know. There's not a lot of... Well, oh, actually, no, wait. I almost forgot why it's so challenging. The reason why it's so challenging is eventually they mine the uh, gargoyles. They mine the gargoyles, and you can't use them, so then you have to start using the vents. That's what makes it challenging. I'm totally blanking for a while, though. Get over here. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, they mine those gargoyles. Now I have to fucking use these vents. Alright, just gotta wait for these guys to clear out, and then I can go through this, uh... Through this vent. Just... Come on, mine guy. Keep moving. Keep moving, pal. Come on. You're just standing around. Uh, Bane isn't paying you to just stand around, dude. Ah, oh, man. I feel like sometimes they bug out and they just stop moving. Like the AI just gives up. Like, yeah, the AI is giving up. That guy's just like, yeah, it's just totally given up. Like, oh man, they're not going anywhere now. Ah, <laughs> and it's really, uh, yeah, it's like, because they're not moving, I don't really have a good, good spot to really sneak up on this guy. Oh wait, no wait, but I got this. So I can do this. I can do that. Sweet. All right, now hopefully they'll start moving. Okay, they're still not moving. Wow, all right. I guess the rest of this room is going to be super easy in that case. God, this game is still... Like, nearly a decade later, this game is still super buggy. Ugh. Works in my favor, though. Oh, shit! Of course he starts moving around. Help me kill him. Oh, shit. Not cool. Now they started actually being competent. Wow. <laughs> King of the Fed has a super chat. What if Michael Myers was a bio-organic weapon, like in Resident Evil? I don't know what that means, but, um, I probably wouldn't be into that version of Michael Myers, that's for sure. Okay, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see how I can sneak up on these guys. Okay, well, at least now they're starting to walk around. Honestly, if, if they were smart, they would just, like, st stand, like, one be like one facing one direction, one facing the other direction, and then they I'd never be able to beat them. <laughs> they were smart, but no, they're not. Oh wait, wait, do I have the can I do that? No, I can't do that shit. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh wait, but no, I have the I can do that. No escape! Oh sweet. Come on, man. Come on. You know you wanna come over here. Did he bug out, too? Okay, no. He's... Yeah, he's still moving. Awesome. Alright, let's keep moving. Let's see what we got here. I guess some people are saying Callisto Protocol is shitty, and it's like a shitty successor to Dead Space, but, uh, you know, uh, Dead Space Remake is coming out in a couple months, so, you know, <laughs> this is that. I'll probably end up streaming. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta definitely stream. Ooh, double special combo move. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Probably end up streaming the Dead Space Remake when it comes out. This is not the right way. I have to get in the elevator. Oh, man, I almost ran 
face first into one of those mines. Ugh. You know, I really feel like taking a swim. Oh, what? Ugh, he just sinks to the fucking floor. Wow. That's something I liked about the, um... The Insomniac Spider-Man games, they finally made it so Spider-Man can swim. That always bothered me, like when you fall into water in a Spider-Man game, he'll just like instantly just swim out of it or like like swing out of it. Like, I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's nice to just have the choice to just swim as Spider-Man, you know? King of the Fat says... You know, like Mr. X in Resident Evil 2, in reference to Michael Myers being a bioorganic weapon. Um, I mean, I'm not super familiar with the lore of Resident Evil at all. I'm familiar with Mr. Mr. X. Yeah, I do know that guy, but I don't know his whole deal. Um, I mean, that's something I was thinking about, though, how you could make a Halloween game work, though, is... You could do it where it's like a mixture of something like Until Dawn, where you make choices and stuff, but you also get to have some gameplay where it's like Resident Evil, where it's a third or first person thing where you're like wandering corridors and Michael Myers is randomly chasing you. Actually, kind of like um, Alien Isolation, something like that, where you just have this invincible killer just trying to, trying to catch up with you. Do a mixture of that. And not like a thing where it's like a uh, asymmetrical multiplayer game, ideally. Oh, this is a cool cutscene. I also like the uh, Looney Tunes music. Ah, oh, I'm getting my ass kicked. of you to drop in and just in time oh, he's my parasol remember you gave your word uh oh you have one minute do they even have manners where he comes from south america you see it's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about... I have that tradition, too. It's nice and fun. This one. Makes Christmas Eve feel really special. Oh, no! I mean, I also like to blow up a building on Christmas Eve, too, but still. I wasn't expecting that. you just take None! I think... That was just a little stocking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> oh, fuck. He lost so many brain cells getting his fucking head smashed like that. Damn. Joker gets his ass kicked really bad in this game. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Ah, oh, this feels so good. Take that, you fucking nerd. Aw, oh, man. I've long waited for this moment with your death. Happy New Year to you as well, Dylan. Still more than an hour away for me, though. Still more than an hour. It's been New Year's for a while in New Zealand, though. And, uh, you know, other parts of the country, too. And now, the moment you've been right. waiting for... I hate this boss battle. I always, like, get killed the first time I do it every playthrough. Because I forget the dynamic to this. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, but yeah, the basic dynamic is just counter. Counter and just hit him when you can hit him. And then do the combo takedowns to get some damage in. Otherwise, just counter and just counter and punch. Nice and simple. But he's super hard to dodge, though. When he does, like, his tackle move... Ugh, dear lord. Okay, he's a little bigger. I can still take him down, though. Whoa! Can't counter that. Oh, I gotta do the super stun. All right. Take that. 
Hell yeah. Give me that, yeah. That's like Bane's one weakness that every Batman rider takes advantage of. Like, he's got those tubes. You just fucking slice the tubes and you beat him. Ah, <laughs> fuck. But, you know, I do like this Bane a lot better than the Arkham Asylum and Arkham City versions. Paul Dini can't write Bane to save his life. That's for sure. But, you know, it's one of those things where... The, you know, it's clear the animated series writers just didn't really have much respect for Bane as a character. Because he was... Ah, oh, shit. Because he was like a totally brand new villain that they were forced to use... They have no, like, you know, connection to this character. So, I, you know, I could understand them just not really doing a good job with Bane and Batman the Animated Series and other stuff like that. I won't stand by and watch you kill yourself. I'm calling Captain Gordon. No, not now. <laughs> I will make this city... Oh, good. Joker's gonna watch me get my ass kicked. I love that. Yeah, that tackle is, gets really hard to dodge at a certain point. Ugh. Yeah, like it's bullshit. He just homes in on you so well. It's just, ugh. <laughs> just like he just totally changes trajectory. Ugh. I'm gonna totally get my ass kicked the first time. Was the night before Christmas it all through the house, but a creature was stirring, not even a. Well, well, a bad Take that, Bane! Ah, oh, hell yeah. I'll be coming for you, Payaso Loco. Ooh, I love I love eating chicken at Payaso Loco. It's my favorite uh, chicken fast food restaurant. Or... Ooh! <laughs> he hit you so hard it hurt me. Oh fuck. Give me that sweet takedown. Hell yeah. Take that, dude. Aw, oh, shit. I didn't even do anything there. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. oh, that was close. Okay, you... I guess the key thing is you gotta, like, jump out of the way at the la at the very last second. Oh, man. Come on. Give me that green juice. I love it. Aw, oh, fuck. Damn it, that was quick. I am gonna get my ass kicked. I just know it. It was nice knowing you. Actually, no, it wasn't. I've never been quite clear how this fight works. If it's just like you have to survive for a certain amount of time, or you have to take him out a certain amount of times, like, I've never been quite clear on it. Ah, oh, shit, okay, I should not be doing shit like that, ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna die, I just know it. I always die, like, the first attempt. What? He, like, started his, like... Okay, give me this, come on. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell was that? Oh, man. Oh, shit. Just went all limp. Yeah, I, I knew it. I was going to die. <laughs> that was unsatisfying. Red Hood says you keep dodging too early. Well, no shit. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> it's just really hard to dodge. Like, oh, man. <laughs> all right, let's try again. It's just, oh, it's really hard to gauge. Like, what the? Oh, shit. Now beat it out of him. He's like really good at homing in on you. Way, 
but I knew I was gonna struggle with this fight live. I struggle with it. It's one of those fights I always struggle on. Alright, give me that. When I'm done with him, I'll be coming for you. There we go. Let's try that again. Okay, let's... And he starts his charge super close to you, where it's just, like, really tricky to jump out of the way, like, and he homes in on you, like, where you just start to do a dodge, but then he just very quickly changes his trajectory. It's, like, just, ugh, it's tough. It's really tough to dodge that shit. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it, though. It always takes me a few tries to get back to the rhythm of how you fight this boss. It's a very specific, tricky boss fight. Alright, we're in phase two. I don't know how many more phases we got. Oh, fuck! Oh shit! Okay, that was close. All right, he almost got me. It was nice knowing you. Actually, no it wasn't. <laughs> you love me, Joker. Shut the fuck up. I know you love me, Joker. Just do it. Give me that sweet, sweet neck of yours, Bane. All right, hell yeah. Okay, now we're in phase three. We're making progress here. Okay, don't hit me, Bane. Please. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I, I did a little better dodging that time. Okay, there we go. We're doing it. All right, sweet. And I think I beat the boss battle technically in the sense that, yeah, yeah, I... All right, that's it. Okay, cool. You just ran out of time. Yeah, I was just struggle the first time. It's just very different from the other boss battles in this game. I call a party. <laughs> Man, that tackle Bane does though is just no joke. Super hard to fucking dodge that shit. <sighs> this rooftop's getting too hot. But honestly, the second Bane boss va battle you do, it's honestly a lot easier than this one. I don't know why. It's the same basic thing, but... Easy. I always just struggle with this one specifically. And it's not really that hard. It's just... I only ever have to do one extra attempt. But it's just always just getting used to that... Getting used to that tackle and having to dodge it. It's just, it just always gets to me, and I don't know. And I always forget, you know, you can punch Bane when he's not in his venomized mode. So you can just do that and getting used to, oh yeah, it's, I can uh, counter him sometimes too. Like, it's just got a different kind of rhythm to it that I just never get used to. Gavin says, thoughts on Joker's voice in this game. I think Troy Baker was a good Joker. Pretty damn good, honestly. Uh, Definitely one of the best Joker voices, I think. Not as good as Mark Hamill, but you know who is. Newsflash! I'm the one who's trying to kill you. Those were two very, very bad men. Ooh, the things they've done. You really don't want to know. They deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Batman can't let Joker die. Otherwise, oh, who's he gonna have to beat the shit out of? I think he's talking to you. Take him down! Down!
Let me guess. He got away. Yeah, no shit, Gordon. It, it happened right in front of you. Take him to. Black you got eyes. You got wearing glasses and everything, but you could still see, dude. Don't appreciate the fucking attitude. Uh, the, the cops are trying their best. Where'd he go? Huh? Whew. The bat. The partner. <laughs> My partner. Oh, and something I love is they brought back. They brought back Costanzo, who played uh, Robert Costanzo, who played Bullock in Batman the Animated Series. I think he's the only voice actor from Batman the Animated Series that returned for this game. And he is Bullock. He's the definitive Bullock voice. I can't imagine anybody else voicing Bullock at this point. Welcome to Blackgate. We're going to do a quick psychiatric evaluation. I kind of wish we... I don't know. There was just more depictions Bad of day, Bullock huh? in different media, though. I know Gotham had Bullock, but... He wasn't quite the Bullock I think Tell about, though. Dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. Oh, I get to do a level where I do stand up as the Joker. Hell yeah. The pointy biting to a thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes, screaming for your synapses. Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into Matt. Just Joker, just do what Michael Richards did when he was bombing on stage. That always works. Oh fuck, I'm getting my ass kicked as the Joker. What else is new? Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and wow, yeah, hell yeah. rethink your whole identity. <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is. Get over here. Your laughter reverberates off the walls of your life. I wish you got to play as Joker in the challenge maps. They made this whole playable Joker, but they don't use him like they did in Arkham Asylum. That just feels like a waste. Delightful. Accept it. Oh, that's a little tried, isn't it? Look, I'm only doing this to help you. Let's try this again. Acceptance. <laughs> My favorite stage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. One more. Jay Dashington says Mark Hamill also played one. Skips in regular show. He's done a lot of different voices. He played <laughs> know something funny. the Fire Nation Lord in Avatar, The Try Last Airbender. Like some higher he played um, Luke Skywalker. That's an obscure one a lot of people haven't, tonight, haven't heard about. But yeah, he played Luke Skywalker. Um, what? <laughs> Have you ever had the feeling that you're in Life trying to think of another character he played. Well, he played Chucky. Everybody knows that at this point. Um, that how you feel? I'm just gonna walk through this fire. Oh, yes. I don't have a health bar. I don't know why I always just all the battles. Just afraid to walk through the fire. He also played um the trickster on the Flash. So now you see fate differently. Absolutely. Now I understand. Wow. Yeah, they give him like this these cool razor cards, but this is the only time you get to play as the Joker. Everything uh. leading up to who I've met tonight. Man, they sure do like to have the characters talk a lot. Yes. And you might I'm just gonna walk through this fire. Fuck it. Everything. Everything? Absolutely. Oh, this looks cool though. Do you anyway. realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wave through all Whoa, that Batman. built on your own. I wonder if this was like foreshadowing of course. the um of course you the uh said. what am I why am I blanking on the nightfall protocol in um <laughs> Arkham Knight? I kinda wonder. Or if it was just a coincidental kinda kinda thing. No one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel all right, let's just keep moving. Getting a whole bunch of Joker origin story stuff. In case you're just wondering, like, why am I playing as, like, a guy with a red tube on his head? Um, 
in most of the Joker's origin stories, or at least, you know, a made-up backstory he might might have, like, um, he essentially starts out as this gangster called the Red Hood. And, you know, you know, in uh, Alan Moore's The Killing Joke, he was just like a random comedian who was just randomly hired by these gangsters just to fi fit the role, just to be this, like, you know, essentially just like this fake kingpin of crime that, uh, you know, could be like a fall guy that uh, could throw people off the trail um, of other criminals, how does that but... Make you feel? You don't really see Red Hood often in other media, just because I guess maybe it looks goofy, I don't know. <laughs> you know, Jack Nicholson wasn't wearing a I Red Hood a tube on his head. Floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like. Michael Diaz points out, Mark I Hamill also played Hobgoblin. I forgot about, about that. How this person makes you feel. Kind of wonder if he got the Hobgoblin job because I of his work as, as Joker on Batman the Animated Which Series. Because that was like I've never a couple of years, before. a couple of years apart. You understand? You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> Man, this is so romantic. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Could this be Harley Quinn? My name's Holly. Whoa! Holly he met Harley Quinn the same night he appeared as Joker? Wow, okay. I call you Harley. <laughs> oh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley. You got one now. Honestly, Tara Strong's more casual Harleen Quinzel voice is much better than her actual Harley Quinn voice. Very funnily to me. Her actual Harley Quinn voice, it's just not super great. Um, probably would have been for the best if she just took it easy playing Harley Quinn. She uh, didn't try so hard to try to replicate Arlene, uh, Arlene Sorkin's voice. Oh, wow, okay. So, something that's being referenced here is a kind of obscure aspect of Batman's origin story, but you see, um, something that happened in Batman's life when he was a young kid is, and, you know, I'll, I'll go into this a bit more once we see it, but... Essentially, he saw his parents get gunned down in the streets behind, like, you know, a movie theater. Uh, you know, the the alley where it happened became known as Crime Alley. A lot of people don't really know this. It's very, uh, it's very underexplored in the franchise. But yeah, Batman saw his parents get killed, and that's part of what made him become... I mean, it's mostly... It's a very minor reason why he became Batman, but it's one of the many reasons why he became Batman. I mean, the main reason was just he liked beating the shit out of people and liked wearing a Batman costume. Like, he wore, like wearing dressing up as a bat. But one of the things was just to... You know, because he saw his parents get killed. But, you know, it's something you don't really see very often in media. Like, it's... It's very refreshing anytime you get to see it because it's just like I, you know, it's just a rare opportunity. Uh, just okay, uh, it's totally dependent on me walking forward. If I want to see his, if I want to see Martha get shot. Wait. Why do you do what you do? It's nice that the chalk artist kind of drew her dress in, too. It might be a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must... Gavin Elrod says, is Scarecrow in this game? If you had no. Police, he'd already be in Unfortunately. It kind of would have been cool if they kind of set up his origin in this. Like, you know, some kind of prototype version of him where maybe he's like a psychiatrist you run into. 
But I guess they're just like, eh, he's going to be the main villain in Arkham Knight. Let's just kind of hold off on him popping in and anything else for a while. Well, actually, he wasn't even really that big of a main villain in Arkham Knight. Er, this could be Bane or one of his men. Kind of got overshadowed by pretend Joker and the actual Arkham Knight. But, you know, er, it is what it is. At the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. Paul here asks, is the there different is Batman during. skins in this game? There is. But, um, I'll show you. Of course, I'd recommend see what the other skins are. In the lab before you go. They're right over... Sure okay, they're not right over me. there. You they're right did. around... Wait, where are they? There's like a little display case filled with skins. They're... Oh, wait, no, yeah, the Batsuit Chamber. There we go. It was right there. So yeah, you got different skins, but they all look kind of shitty. That's the that's the unfortunate thing. I mean, the actual suits they're based on are cool, but they're very bad renditions of the. Like this is supposed to be the long Halloween suit. Like it just looks shitty. Like look, it's like wearing these boxers, like these boxer briefs. It just looks bad. Um, and the other thing is, you can't really wear these suits until you beat the main story. You can wear them in the challenge maps right away, but you can't wear them until you... You can only wear them in New Game Plus or, you know, in the campaign once you beat the story and you're just doing the side missions and shit, but, uh, yeah. Like, I don't know, it's just great suits, but, you know, they're just kind of rendered very poorly. I don't know, they just kind of look bad to me. I don't, to me, the skin's... This game has the worst skins. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Out of any of these Batman games, they just... I would never wear any of the other ones. But the main suit is super cool. Like, they did a great job with this main Arkham Origins suit, but the skins, they're terrible. They're... And at, some, at one point, you had to pay, like, two bucks if you wanted all the skin like he had to pay two bucks for multiple packs of skins too and it's totally not worth it once you see how shitty they look anyway let's get the glue grenade probably the stupidest gadget in this whole series let's get it it's yeah that's right there scott miller asks who's the voice actor as batman in this that would be um Guy who plays Sonic the Hedgehog. Why am I blanking on his name? Someone in the comments will say who it is. Someone will say who it is. It's called field testing, Alfred. Jokester Fest says, What is your favorite Batman? My favorite Batman. Um. That's a that's a loaded question. Um. I guess the fa my favorite Batman comic is definitely going to be Dark Knight Returns and then Year One, for sure. So, if we're going in that direction, but, you know, if you're going favorite voice actor, you know, it's going to be Kevin Conroy. If we're going favorite live action actor, um, that's really hard to say, because I've never really been fully satisfied with any of the Batman actors we've gotten so far. They all kind of have their strengths and weaknesses. I feel like the, I don't know, the most fully formed one as a character to me, so far at least, is has been the, um, the Christian Bale Batman, but, uh, Roger Craig Smith played Batman in this game, and I think one of the few times he played Batman, um, alright, let's, where am I going, okay, where am I flying, locate the tracker placed on, ba okay, let's fly right here, yeah, that looks good. <coughs> Master Bruce, stop! Master Bruce, Bruce, you... I will not Take it easy, Alfred. To go. I, I'm not a big fan of the way Alfred looks in this game. He looks like John Waters. I don't know, he kind of looks sort of creepy to me. It's weird seeing an Alfred with that mustache, but with hair, too. It's just a little, I don't know, you don't really see that very, very often. you used to tie every morning? teenager you drove to his first date while you are here every night i am out there the only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. be no not may be i am when the mugger or the thief stops to think twice that is fear that is what i am 
That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. Yeah, crime is really up during the day in Gotham ever since Batman showed up. Like, so many crimes just happen during the day now. And they... You know, but, you know, at least crime is down during the night. I mean, you take some, you lose some. I trust you realize you can't just waltz into the GCPD after everything that's happened there tonight. I know I can't do that. I'll have to find a way in that'll avoid detection. Indeed. Ah, oh, man. Look, I'm... Gotta do backtracking. Damn it. I hope you understand. It's just because... It's okay. I understand. Do you, Batman? Do you really understand? Oh, there's guys with guns. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, I'm getting out of here. That's, uh, that's something I'm not a big fan of in this game. It's navigating Gotham is a bit of a nightmare. Like, you know, there's... Tons of guys with guns on the roofs. You have to go across, like, this long-ass bridge. Sometimes they make you have to do it. You can't, like, do the fast travel thing to skip the bridge. Sometimes. It's just... <laughs> Shock glove battery efficiency. Yeah, let's go with that. I don't have much of a choice in any of the upgrades with this game, but we'll go with that one. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's a big, it's a big open world with just nothing really in it. So it's just navigating it. Bit of a pain. Like having to hear like that super loud grapnel boost too, to get around just like every few, every few seconds. It's not exactly music to the ears. <laughs> oh God. Navigating around got a lot better in Arkham Knight, though. Oh, God. Just the world's longest bridge. Greetings to you, saucy. Michael Diaz says, I did love Bruce Greenwood in Under the Red Hood and Young Justice. I remember, you know, there, we don't really have, like, any, that I can think of at least, any bad Batman voice actors, but a lot of them just feel like they are, for the most part, serviceable. And they're not really, very often it doesn't feel like some Batman voice actors are even doing a different kind of voice from their regular voice. Maybe they'll do it, like, a little grittier, but they don't, like, do, like, a Kevin Conroy thing where it's like, oh, man, this is just, like, where, I don't know, it, just, I don't know, like, none of the Batman, other Batman voice actors really stand out to me compared to Kevin Conroy, but, you know, I do like Roger Craig Smith in this game. Like, you know, there's Batman voice actors I do like, but they just don't quite you know, live up to Kevin Conroy, which is a little weird how they're just haven't been able to find, like, a guy who could do a voice like that again. Like, it's so crazy how one-of-a-kind Kevin Conroy is, or was, I should say. Oh, shit. Sniper. Oh, shit. Oh, there's just so many snipers everywhere in Gotham. This is the horrible... It's the worst fucking place to live on Christmas. And that's the guy who was trying to blow up the station? Yep. And he's in Blackgate now? Yep. So who's in control of Black Mass's gang? You ever shut up? Nope. Scott Miller says other Batman voice actors feel like placeholders. You know, it's just... They get the job done. You know, they could be like a... Hey, I'm Batman. Hey, check me out. Uh, how's it go? Like, they'll do something like that, where it's like, yeah, it gets the job done. But it's just like... 
never really, um, never really stands out, ultimately, unfortunately. Uh, Honestly, one of my favorite Batman voices might be Reno Romano, just because he didn't even bother to do a different kind of voice. It's just his regular voice. Like, just he just sound, it just sounds like Reno Romano. Like, uh, he's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna do my regular voice. And you know, it worked for that version of Batman, who's just supposed to be like 24, a 24 year old Batman who's not really that dark. All right. Let me see. Can I, uh, well. It sure is smoke, pal. It sure is. Godspeed, Batman. Godspeed, Spider-Man. All right, uh... Do we have... Okay, no, there's still that one guy right there. He's kind of, like, doing a Blair Witch thing in the corner. He's just, like... He's bugged. I can't stealth take down him. He's just, like, staring at this wall. I can punch him, though. At least there's that. And none of his homies are helping him, either. Wow, this game is super buggy. Still, it's crazy. They never fix this shit. Scott Miller says, are they ever going to are they ever going to release the Batman animated series? Or are you talking about the 2004 one? They did release it. I think it's on HBO Max now. And um, it's on Blu-ray now. So, if you're talking about the uh, Reno Romano Bat Batman cartoon from the 2000s, it's, it's out. It's been out for a while. And actually, I was thinking how they could continue the DC animated universe without Kevin Conroy is they could just do a new Batman Beyond show where they bring back, you know, the original voice of Terry McGinnis, Batman, and just have it be a thing where now he's like in his, you know, mid to late 30s or something. Kevin Conroy's Batman has since passed away, and now Terry's in control of Wayne Enterprises, and they could do something like that. Now he has to just be got to figure out how to just be Batman completely on his own now. And also, you know, it'd be like it's that cool cyberpunk setting as well, too, you know. And you can go darker since it's like, you know, an HBO Max show, so you could make it like more of a PG-13 kind of thing you couldn't do with the original series. Anyway, though, uh, that was just what I was thinking about. It'd be cool to see a continuation of Batman Beyond. Just... Not a teenager ver not a teenage version of Terry anymore though. Did I even need to take those guys out? I just realized, did I? Oh my god, I just realized. I th wait. Scan the corpse in the G did I need to oh no. Yeah, I did not need to fight any of these guys, I realized. I know that, I can I think. enter the GCPD through the Oh shit. Back to where I exited last time. Well, I guess I kicked those cops' asses for nothing. I dear Lord. Oh dear god, just wasting time. There's no way I'm gonna get to Cold Cold Heart tonight. Ugh. I was hoping, though. Oh shit. The enemies in this game have eyes in their ba in the back of their skulls. They're just... They're just so much more aware than the enemies in... the other Arkham games. They just can see you so easily. Ugh. Dear Lord. Ugh. Okay, let's try this. I think it's down here. No, no, yeah, it's around the corner. All right, let's try this and do a beat down. Yep. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Oh, man.
Victor says the bugs make this game more fun. I mean, you say that, but I've gotten bugs in this game that are game-breaking before where you literally can't beat the game, where you're just, like, stuck in a room, gliding down into oblivion. That's not fun. Having to start the game over again, like, you know, it's just... <laughs> Man, this is so overpowered. I don't know why Batman never never kept these electrocutioner gloves. What the? I pressed the counter button, though. Whatever. That's something, I don't know. I feel like in this game, the counter button fails you sometimes compared to the other games. Like, you'll press it and just nothing will be happening. Like, it's not as reliable. Eh. It's just, I don't know, it's like... This game is just a little more wonky compared to the other ones. Alright. And Happy New Year to you, Scotty Boy Rules. Scotty Boy. Not quite New Year yet for me, though. Stop the flow of steam. Still a half hour away. And, you know, for the uh, West Coast, still very far away. And, you know, of course, the rest of the world is basically New Year's now. But not, not for America. Not for America. All right, let's do this. Oh, wait. Oh, this is just the, the Enigma data packs. I don't care about that shit. Let's keep moving. Oh, yeah, this is the control room, but I'm not trying to get here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I got the fucking glue grenade. The stupidest fucking... Ugh. The cum grenade. Just throwing cum at my enemies. Hell, yeah. It's just so stupid looking. Like, look at... Oh, it's just gross. Like, there's this white goo Batman throws at guys. It's just... Ugh. But it's basically the freeze grenades from Arkham City just reskinned to something way stupider looking. It's like, look at how stupid this looks. It's like, he didn't get the, like, it's so weird how they're just like, he didn't get the freeze grenade yet because he gets it from Mr. Freeze like 10 years later or whatever. But they still give him like the grapnel boost and other shit he has. Like, it's just like, you didn't have to make it this glue grenade. You could have come up with something else. Like, ugh. All right, let's keep moving. Come grenade! Hell yeah! Oh, man. Yeah, Gross. I'm honestly surprised, like, blocking these steam valves doesn't cause, like, an explosion to happen or something. All right, let's... Here, there's a body around here. Hopefully this is the right way. Let me see. Yeah, it says exit, but uh, we'll see. No, this is not the right way. Leads back to GCPD. Ooh, a strip club. Hell yeah. All right, anyway. I fucking blew my load once I saw that poster. All right. It's up this way. Oh, wait, maybe it's... Maybe it's this way. More, yeah, it's this way. All right, sweet. Scott Miller says there was supposed to be an animated Batman series that got up... That got caught up in the HBO Max purge. It's still gonna come out. But it's not coming to HBO Max. They basically supposedly have auctioned it off to some other streaming thing. They're just like, hey, you want this Batman cartoon? We don't want it. <laughs> just give us some money. We're really desperate for money. We'll fucking sell you whatever you whatever you want. God. Ugh. It's very sad and pathetic. Just the worst. The worst media merger in a long time. The HBO Max it's Discovery Bane, merger. One of his men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The real Don of New York City says, What's up, Doc? Nothing much. Just spending my New Year's with Batman. And you fine folks. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. You know, I... 
that this padding out like after you do the before. Gotham Royal Hotel I'm not a big fan of this of these missions in between it just feels like really padding out the story with just like oh, go back to the GCPD check out this morgue go back to the bridge the victim was like, using uh, a powerful compound go to these sewers to the just uh, venom at the time of his death it changes the user's muscle and bone structure greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period Black Draven says they're still trying to find another streaming service that for that other Batman show. Eh. His mental capacity and then again, I don't know. I mean, Bruce Tim damage to the brain's is working on it, but also J.J. Abrams is too, so who knows memory. how good it, good it actually is, I suppose. This we'll find out. Tracker. I mean, you know, Warner Brothers made and finished a Scooby-Doo animated film, and they're just not going to release it just to write it off on their taxes, which is just... You know, just one of those... It's one of the saddest, most pathetic things you could hear. Like, just like, we made a fucking movie, and we're just not gonna release it just to write it off. The same thing with the Batgirl movie they made. It's just... Uh, just... Yeah. <laughs> just like, they just don't give a fuck about how they look to anybody. Like, just like, we, we're, just, we're just trying to tighten the belt. <laughs> Increase the stun time for opponents impacted by a battering. Um, well, let's go with the glide boost attack. None of these are really that useful, but it's there's something. All right, sweet. Data pack. Hell yeah. Oh fuck. How do I get out of it? Okay, there we go. Keep moving. Now. Uh, how do I get out of this fucking place? Oh, yeah, I fucking have to... I can't leave through the door. I have to fucking leave through this hatch. <laughs> All available units. We've received reports that Batman only travels the rooftops and the sewers. ...fighting over what appear to be chemical weapons. Requesting any available officers locate and secure the scene. Chemical weapons. I should investigate. Tell me more about these chemical weapons. Now... Bird is an optional mission you can do to get an extra gadget. I don't remember what the gadget is, but um, it's something you can do. I'm not going to do it, because I don't care about that other gadget. I don't even, like, what, let me think, what could that gadget be? I think maybe it's, I don't know, uh, I'm trying to think, oh wait, I think, no, I got the Sonic battery. Who, who fucking cares, though, who cares? Worthless gadget. King of the Fat says, ever watch Borat? I've seen both. I've seen both Borats. And you know what? They're pretty funny. Just what we needed. I should hurry to Bane's location before I lose the signal again. You know, this game really does hold up visually, though. I don't know if, like, the compression of YouTube does it justice, but I don't know. Like, seeing, like, the running water along the... along the sewer drain, like, I don't know. I just... Looks pretty nice. Looks nice even to this day. Alright, time to beat the fuck out of, um, cops. Oh shit. Why do they have to reload their guns? Like, they don't have their guns locked and ready to go already? Okay, I guess maybe they have it in safety mode, though. Alright. Let's get out of here. You know, this place is very festive. Let's keep moving. Alright. Let's keep going. Whoa. Oh shit. There's always guys with guns just everywhere. Don't be sad. Your mind's just not built for this sort of thing. Shut up, Riddler. Shut the fuck up. Alright. DK says, why do they have a, a hatch to the morgue anyway? I mean. They were like, um, sometimes, you know, we accidentally lock the door to the morgue and I forget my keys, so it's just nice to have that little extra hatch just to sneak in through the sewers, you know. Just nice little, you know, additional route to the morgue <laughs> through the sewers. AJ Benton says, I still haven't seen Avatar 2. Well, you know, uh... It's worth checking out. I, I finally saw it. Saw it, um, a few days before Christmas, and, you know, um, 
it was a fun visual experience watching it, but um, I'm not going to remember. I, I Like, honestly, I'm already kind of forgetting things that happened in the movie. Like, it's the same thing with the original Avatar. It's just like... Not a memorable story or characters or anything like that. Very much like stuff you've seen very often in other movies, but it looks cool. Like, the 3D looks cool. I'll remember that stuff. Like, the, you know, the underwater scene's very pretty. It kind of looks like you're looking at a Pandora... Pandora Aquarium. DK says Avatar 2 really came out of nowhere. There was no advertising at all. Same thing with the original Avatar. Little, little, very little advertising. They were just like, Avatar 2's coming out. And I was like, okay, all right. Um, still managed to make over a billion dollars so far. I wouldn't be surprised if it beats Avatar 1's box office. And, you know, just, just against all odds. Um, I'm sure a lot of people watching it aren't even familiar, are, don't even know who James Cameron is. Like... They don't know he's the guy who directed the Terminator movies, Aliens, Titanic. They just are like, it's a, it's a new Avatar movie. Let's check it out. Like, like it's like, huh. It's wild. It, it is wild. But uh, those, those movies do manage to be successful. You gotta hand it to them. And they look really cool. Scott Miller says, unobtainium. I, that's the very sad thing. And, you know, there's a baby crying. I'm not going to save it. Um, there's a baby crying in the snow down there. I'm not going to save that baby. Fuck that baby. Who cares about that baby? Um, let it die. Let it die. Um, but, yeah, I they didn't talk about unobtainium at all in Avatar 2, which made me sad. But I'm very glad that Norm Spellman appeared. And if you don't know who Norm Spellman is, he's the guy from the Hatchet movies, or at least the, the first Hatchet movie with a cameo and I think, like, the third one. Um, he's the guy who looks like Shaggy, and he's brought back, and they don't kill him off, too. I was afraid they were going to do that. I was afraid they were going to kill off all the expendable scientist characters really quickly. But now Norm Spellman appears in Avatar 2, and they don't kill him. So... We're going to have Norm Spellman in Avatar 3, so that's that's nice. I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping Norm Spellman gets, like, a spin-off Disney Plus series or something, like the Norm Spellman Adventures. Fucking snipers up my ass. Oh, god damn. Oh, god damn, they are just, like... Oh, they are persistent. Emperor Caleb Tyne says, God, I love Origins. I love the snow and that bridge. I, the snow's really cool. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was hoping they kind of lost interest in me, but now they're, they're like, he's still there. I like the snow. Not a big fan of the bridge. It, it just takes a little while to get across. It. Please, please. Oh, shit. Okay, fuck it. This is not the smart way to handle this, but they're just like, they're... They got like a beat on me, and they're just like, not giving me a chance to really get out of their sights. And of course, every rooftop has guys with guns. Oh, man. This is, you know, this, this playthrough has been very sloppy on my part, but this isn't how I normally play this game. Just a lot more sloppy playing video games live. It's unfortunate. But how does he know I'm here? It's like he's, like, following me, even though he can't see me. He's like, I know where you are. I'm God. I'm omniscient. Like, what the fuck is that bullshit? <laughs> I know exactly how you're moving behind that wall. Ugh, it must be Superman. Ah, shit. All right, let's try this again. Actually, I don't think I even need to... No, wait, I do need to take the... What the fuck? Dudes. Dudes. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, I need to take out the guys on the roof first. And I, I know that much. Big plans for you. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever died to this part. This is just... 
You know, it's just being live. I just suck so much more gaming. I don't know what to tell you. All right, let's try this again. Take out the snipers first, because they are, they are omniscient. They never lose sight of you. You can't lose them. <laughs> they can see you through walls. It's great. Got to take them out first. Don't turn around arbitrarily. I don't like that. Stop it. All right. Another sniper. Got to take him out. Michael Diaz says, I enjoyed the first avatar. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fatal error. I gotta... Oh, shit. Yeah, the game crashed. Fuck. Yeah, this game's buggy. Let's relaunch it. <laughs> oh, God. I got a pop-up message from Steam saying, Fatal error. Game crashed. Oh, great. All right. Let's try again. All right. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. There we go. Michael Diaz says, I enjoyed the first Avatar, but it was am amazing how that movie faded away in obscurity pretty fast. For the last ten years, I honestly forgot about that movie. I, the same thing with a lot of people. I rewatched the first one. I got it on Blu-ray. I watched the director's cut, which is like three and a half hours long. And... I can't remember anything from it. I rewatched it like a few months ago. I, I don't remember. Like, I remember very little from it. I've seen the movie at this point like three or four times. I only remember like, they say, I see you. I remember one of the guys looks like Shaggy. One of the Navi scientist guys looks like Shaggy. I remember Scorny Weaver plays like character named Joan Augustine or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but... Honestly, I didn't even remember what Colonel Quaritch's name was until, like, the second movie. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see how things go. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Where am I? Am I at the place I'm supposed to be? Oh, no, it's down the street. Oh, of course. Fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. All right, let's try that again. I thought that those were the snipers. Yeah. Nope. Let's try again. Hopefully this time it doesn't crash on me. Fingers crossed. Whoa, that guy just flew. What the? Why are they so omniscient? They... Oh, shit. And that guy's never going to lose sight of, sight of me, too. Like, he's just going to see me through all the walls. I'm going to, like, fly... I'm going to glide five miles away from him, and he's still going to remember exactly where I am. Ugh. Damn it. All right, let's try this again. Okay, there's a sniper down there. Let's take care of that one. Hopefully this time he does not see me. All right, well, let's try to take out this one. Let's give it a shot. All right. Kind of cutting it close. All right, okay, we're good so far. Just got to take out that other sniper and we're fine. Oh, of course, there's another guy with gun I didn't see. Awesome. Get over here. Motherfucker. The King of the Fat says Joan Augustine is like the Jane Goodall of the Navi. Um, the funny thing is, like, I, wa I did watch the making of documentary of the original Avatar. And originally, the Joan Augustine character was going to be called Shipley. And this was before James Cameron knew... Sigourney Weaver was going to play the character when he was writing the script. So, like, when they were doing, like, a script reading, he very quickly was like, well, I'm not going to call her Shipley, because it's basically the same fucking name as Ripley from Alien, so I'm going to give you a different name. But it's kind of funny how he had to, like, be, like, on the spot. All right, we got to give you a different name. Um, but, uh... I guess J Joan Augustine is supposed to be, like, the Virgin Mary of Avatar or something. Like, just a Navi that, like, had an immaculate conception or something. Like, God. I don't know what they're going to be doing with that. <laughs> like, a corpse that gave birth to a Navi kid? They're so vague about how that works. They're just like... 
I will we'll save it for it. Like, it's like some J.J. Abrams shit where it's just like this mystery thing where it's like, maybe we'll answer it. Maybe we'll answer what's going on there. Coming from somewhere down that tunnel. And they gave, like, Joan Augustine's daughter the most basic-ass, like, sci-fi name, too. Kira, like, I don't know. <laughs> just, isn't that, the, like, the name of the um, chick from Atlantis, the Lost Empire? The magic Atlantis chick from At <laughs> Atlantis? Or, or, or. I feel like, I don't know, you, I don't know, you hear Ki the name Kira in a lot of shit. All right. Michael Diaz says, ever read, um, Batman Eternal? Um, I think that's the one that, um, the one that, uh, where you see Batman's dick in it, I think. And yeah, I did, I did read it. It's got, like, <laughs> it's got, yeah, it's got, like, Batman's dick in it, though. That's the, that's the part I remember about it. But, uh, Brian Elizero, I think? I don't, I don't remember exactly how to say his name, but I do know he did the art in that. But, um... Billy Zane has a, um, hidden comment that says, James Cameron is a talentless hack. And how can you say that about your boy Jim? You, your boy Jim Cameron. He must have really got on Billy Zane, gotten under Billy Zane's skin if Billy Zane is willing to say he's a talentless hack. Like, you know, Billy Zane and Jim Cameron, they got history together. All right, time to beat the fuck out of this guy. Hell yeah. Oh, man, that was fun. Oh, damn it. All right, fine. Ava02 Soul says, it's like Halloween 5. They'll figure it out later with uh, Kira's birth in um, Avatar 2. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see if they got... I mean, they... Supposedly, the next three sequels are already figured out, and they've already started shooting them, so supposedly they've got it figured out. Like, what's going to be going on with... Like I'm stuck. Assuming they even answer the question. Unless. It's also a possibility that you're Maybe just never going to address it. Like... <laughs> Just gonna be like, um, yeah, we did, we do have it all planned out, but we're not gonna, we're not really gonna bother with that. Um, it's just one of those mysteries. Just one of those mysteries, you know? I guess we'll see. I mean, you know, Avatar 3 isn't gonna come out until 2037, uh, I think, so we got a long wait ahead of us to find out what's gonna be happening next in the adventures of Kira Sully and her family of earth cat like human cat hybrids with like four fingers uh, Your life is mine. I love how that's like how they could tell that they're part human like they have four fingers they're not like these impressive they're not as cartoony all right uh, Time to finish. what kind of demon witchcraft is this four fingers Just like, hey, get out of my face, dude. Oh, oh, man. That pipe had a serious arc behind it. It is too late for you. Whoa, that guy just disappeared. Damn. Alright, fine. Whatever. Oh man, eight minutes till New Year's. Holy shit, and I'm playing Batman. I made a good choice, I think, and I'm in the sewer. I was... Hopefully I can time it just right, because I don't know. Huh? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Okay, I think I could time something... Something just right up ahead. Just in time for New Year's, but we'll see. Hopefully I, you know... I have the foresight. Alright. Ah, oh, man, it's still like... Seven minutes away. We'll see. My tracking device is in here somewhere, which means Bane is likely... Michael Sullivan says, I remember the two-tape set of Titanic Tape 2 began with Billy slapping Kate. 
Man, that must have been so satisfying. Like, ah. Impressive work. But it looks like Bane hasn't found a way to counter the damaging side effects this compound has on the brain's memory centers. Some of this research is dedicated to overcoming his own addiction and dependency on Venom. He can't survive without it. So, the Bane in this game is a, basically a comic accurate portrayal of Bane. But they essentially have to explain, since this is a prequel, they have to explain why Bane is like just such a fucking dipshit in Arkham Asylum and City. So they came up with this thing where it's like, he just became so addicted to Venom and it caused him to become just fucking dumber and, you know, having, he has like a worse memory over time because of his Project use of Venom. Looks like Bane's experimenting. So it's kind of sad they had to sort of explain Whatever away. It, it must be what caused the physiological change. Why their actual the good version of ba Bane became so shitty. Oh man, yeah. This would have been perfect timing for New Year's. This explosion coming up, but it just wasn't. I just couldn't kill enough time. Oh well. who I am. You're not safe at Wayne Manor. Gavin Elrod says, could Scooby-Doo no, do a multiverse story? Um, they've yes, kind of done that. Uh, they did that in, like, a comic. My way to you. So they did that in a comic, and they also did, um, you know, um, Cyber Chase kind of did a thing where they got to meet, like, diff alternate versions of themselves, like their 60s incarnations. So they kind of have done that, sort of. But, I, you know, we've seen... We've, we're seeing so many multiverse things lately. It's just getting overdone. Like, next year we're gonna get a fucking Ezra Miller Flash movie with, like, a multiverse. You know, we, we don't really need Scooby-Doo to do this, too. Uh, airborne in a jet pack, armed with a flamethrower. Multiple hostages on the Pioneer Bridge. King the Fat has a super chat, so I found this image on Reddit in which someone took the logos of fictional evil corporations and put the LGBT colors on them as if they were celebrating Pride Month. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, <laughs> It's pretty funny. Uh, you know, just um, the uh, token gesture of support for the LGBTQ community. You know. <laughs> A lot of lives could be at risk at the bridge. If I can hack Firefly's communication channel, All right. I can learn more. All right. Hacking this communication. And if the cops try anything stupid, kill a few hostages. Sure thing. And uh, how long before we set the timers on the bombs? Not until the bats. Come on, guys, Do shut up. I just want to get out of this sewer. Dollars riding on this. I don't want to spend Alfred, the beginning of the year at a sewer. I bridge. I need to deal with him before coming back. Uh, can't you just let the police handle Mr. Linz? Especially in light of what we've just learned. I can't abandon those hostages. They're in jeopardy because of me. Because of the bounty Joker placed on my head. They'll be safe in the Batcave. Oh my god, finally. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's get out of this damn sewer. Jay Dashington says, I hope that Flash movie doesn't get cancelled. You know, it's gonna come out. They spent a lot of money on it, that's for sure. It's gonna come out. Um, guess we'll see how it, how it plays out. Because it's gonna be, um, a tricky movie to release. All right, I'm trying to get to the fucking bridge as quickly as possible just to get another explosion. Already starting to hear the fireworks outside. The one time I want to get to that bridge, I'm struggling. Situation, people. 
Get into position and prepare to breach on my order. Do not provoke or engage the suspect. He's got hostages in the bridge sublevel. Just get yourselves into position. All right. Okay, just, uh, let me see. How many, how much more time till New Year? Well, okay, uh, less than two minutes. I know that much. Just got a minute. The real dawn of New York City says this is a great way to celebrate the New Year. I mean, you know, probably not the best way to celebrate New Year's, but, you know, I just felt like playing Batman tonight. You know, it is what it is. I'm setting a great tone for me and my content by starting the year playing a Batman game. All right. Let's head to the bridge. People are clapping outside. Really into this new year, huh? Firefly away from the bridge so I can approach safely. Oh, Batman, what are you doing? really hoping I timed it right just for when Firefly was blowing up those cars. But no, I fucked up. Oh well. Oh, fuck you, dude. Man, those fireworks are going off like crazy outside. These are fireworks just in my neighborhood. Like, what? People got some hardcore fireworks. Damn. What are you doing, dude? Come on, get over here. I hope you all have a great 2023. And if you don't have a good 2023, well, you know, don't blame me. I, I hoped you'd have a good one. I tried my best. You have to try to make your 2023 good, okay? You know, I, I can't do it for you just by hoping. All right, I don't know what to tell you. He's a cop, Harvey. He'll do his job. Oh, yeah, and I guess it's not really New Year's for Sierra the West Nine, Coast, though. Don't Just for East Coast men. people. Firefly has the bridge rigged with explosives. Show yourself! It's still three hours away you from the go. West Coast. No! Call them back. If Firefly blows the bridge, there's no telling how many will die. You're the reason those people are in danger. He's doing this for the bounty on your head! Give yourself up! I'm going to bring in Firefly myself. Man, Don't Gordon is like talking through clenched safe. teeth. You'll see uh, the hell out of this. You hear me? He's barely moving his upper lip when he talks. All right, let's keep moving. I can't really tell at this point if what I'm hearing is fireworks or like somebody just firing a gun multiple times. It's hard to tell. All right, lock and lock. Okay, it's got to be lock and load. Loco, maybe locomotive. All right, let's try that. Nope. Lock guard, coast guard, coast guard. It's got to be that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, why would you make that your your password? Like, the, I'm gonna make the, my password the thing I do as a job. <laughs> God. Ugh. All right. Meltdown says Doc is in 2023 and I'm in 2022. Doc time trap. Yep. Time zones aren't, aren't a thing. It's time travel for sure. You guys are lucky. You're still in 2022. Trust me. 2023 is so much worse. And I've only been in 2023 for three minutes. But these have been the worst three minutes of my life. Oh man, just be lucky. 
You thought 2022 was bad? Oh, man. It can only get worse. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Alright. Is this like, um... Is this just like an optional thing to get that data pack? Or is there actually something up over here? Or do I grapple? Let's see. Uh, no, this gotta be like... Alright. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. Can I go this way? Oh, wait. No. Jump across. Uh, oh, wait. But I already did that. Where, where am I going? Let's see. Can't climb up that. What did I power? I I powered something. Okay. Can I climb up this? I can't do that. Okay, so I gotta go up this way. But what am I trying to get? 2023 is a nightmare world. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I could just... Ah, oh, man. I don't know why I was just like... Oh, yeah, there's no way I could jump across that gap and shimmy across the... Ugh. Let's keep moving. Get through this bridge. Zorby says, I'm late. Where are the bats? Well, I mean, here's a bat right here. So, you know, you, you got a bat somewhere. Not, you know, a literal bat, but uh, he's bat-like. I need to make one of these guards tell me how many bombs Firefly has and where they are. All right. Oh, shit. Of course they put mines on all these damn... Ugh. Gargoyles. You know, it was cool that one time in Arkham Asylum, but I don't want to have to deal with gar mind gargoyles my whole life, damn it. All right. Honestly, what are these gargoyles? It looks kind of like they're rhinos or something. I'm not quite sure what they are. I guess they're, I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, they're just kind of... I guess they kind of look like beetles or something. I'm not what quite sure. That ha that guy have goggles? Yeah, I see the goggles what? on him. Damn it! Who got you, man? Talk to me. Does that guy have goggles? Okay, okay. Do any? Of wow, that's just a lot of guys just clustered together to right now. there. Damn. We'll see what happens, huh? That's what happens when you're floppy. Well All right, let's take a chance. <laughs> Get the hell out of here now. I just got a text from my father wishing me a happy new year. Hell yeah. All right. Kenzie J says, 2021, I got my boobs done. 2022, I got my nose fixed. 2023, we're doing lips. Lips are New Year's resolution. Well, you know, it's good to have things planned out ahead of time. All right. You got your whole year figured out. I'm thinking about getting my lips done this year, too. All right. Let's take this guy out and try to get out of here quickly. Oh. Arr. Zorby says this is early in Batman's career. Why would there be booby-trapped gargoyles? I mean, you would think they would just bro booby trap. I mean, if they're doing it this early on in his life as Batman, you'd think they'd just do it all the time, years later. But no, it's just like, they only do it like one more time after this. They're just like, ah, oh, there's just too many gargoyles in Gotham for some reason. You just can't possibly mine them, mine them all. I mean, my first priority if I'm, like, in a room with Batman is definitely just, just start out blowing up all the gargoyles. Like, don't... 
don't wait around until he's taken out a few of you. Just, uh, just destroy the gargoyles ASAP. You know, that's that's the key thing. You definitely don't want any of these vantage points where he could just swoop in and get you. I see your bones. All right, let's swoop in and get this guy next. Happy New Year's to you as well, Gunner Barker. Don't turn around. Oh, sweet. He's just like, okay, I can already tell all my homies have been taken out. Let's... <laughs> How many bombs are on this bridge? Four. Four. The real dawn of New York City says my New Year's resolution is to binge every Dr. Wolfula video. That's what I like to hear. Those are the big ones. That's all of them. I promise. Then I promise you a good night's sleep. My New Year's resolution is to make Four even more Dr. Wolfula videos to be binged. I'll need to disarm this bomb before going after the others. All right. Oh, man, this is always fun. Okay. So, yeah, this is like a regular cryptographic sequencer puzzle, but this time timed, and you have to do it three times in a row. Awesome. Come on. Come on, give me the... There we go. All right. Come on, give me it. Give me something. Okay, explosives. I already can tell. Explosives. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got here. Um, uh, uh, flammable. Yeah, yeah, flammable. There we go. All right. One bomb down. Now to find the other three. All right. Other three bombs. Great. Okay. Let's see. Okay, what do I want to up upgrade? Um, glue grenade? Uh, let's see. Uh, a quick fire throw glue grenade. Oh, wait, no, that's not an upgrade. It's just a thing I have. Um, quick silent takedown? Uh, now faster? Okay, yeah, I'll get that. Kind of towards the end of the game, but, you know, it's something. Well, let's see. Okay. Uh, looks like I go down here. And supposedly, supposedly there is a door around here somewhere, I think. Okay, no, no, it's like, I don't know, all right. Might be mistaken, let me see. Or unless, okay, unless I just go back through the door I came, okay, I think I just go through the door I came through. Oh, oh wait, no, I didn't come through this door at all, all right. For some reason I thought I did. Let's keep moving. Man, this is a very complex bridge. Just like all these elevators and boiler rooms and everything. I don't know why um, this bridge has so much infrastructure inside it. But all right. Well, I guess it's I guess it's got like a train system too. I guess yeah. Never mind. Because it's not just a bridge. Zorby says the Satan's Little Helper video was his favorite Dr. Wolfula video. That was a goulash video. Ah, I had nothing to do with that. But, uh, you know. Finally going to be bringing back the Gulag channel, so. At least gives me an opportunity to transition into that. gonna start shooting those gulag videos next week. Can't take your show Aw, shit. Finally have all the backlog of videos I had to do out of the way. No more, um, 
Halloween videos I need to do or Christmas videos. So now it's just free time to do stuff like goulash videos again. There we go. Punched him right in the dick. You've been after the bounty on my head all night. Untie me, you self-righteous son of a bitch! Zorby says true, but was still on the Doc Dr. Wolfiela channel, though. All right, technically. It was never Sionis. The Joker put up the bounty, and now he's behind bars. I heard, but I still got. I saved you, you of piece of shit. Giving you the rest of the night off. Ah, uh, getting out of here. Actually, can I beat the fuck out of this guy? Let's see. You took an oath to uphold the oh, law. Oh no, I'm just when guilt tripping him. I'm out of here. I expect you to be following that oath to the letter. Yes, yes, sir. I'm sorry. All right, let's keep moving. Sir, Firefly's locked his hostage. I'm not gonna lie. With explosives. I really hate this bridge level. Not because it's hard or anything, it's just, it really slows down the plot. Like, it's like, it just completely, like, when you have to go to the Bane sewers and do this bridge level, it just completely kills the momentum of the game story. It's just like, oh yeah, all that shit, like, Alfred is in danger and stuff. Well, guess what, I gotta, well, they just like fucking fly. Guess what, I gotta do this Firefly bridge level first before we actually move the story, story forward. Is there another guy besides the guys up there? Let's see. No, no, it, it's just those guys. Oh man, I didn't even take him out. Oh wow. Michael Sullivan says, after New Year's, it's Valentine's, right? Do you and your better half go out on the full moon? I'm not a werewolf. And I don't even know if Valentine stays on a full moon this year. I guess we'll find out. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Two for one special. Oh, they look cozy, though. All right. Bravo 2, this is command. Report. Source of explosion was an oil truck on the bridge surface. Massive damage. No casualties sir. Copy. Keep me informed. Oh wait, okay, so I Is he going to save us? I gotta get that train down. Get the hell out of those goons. I'm trying to remember how I do that though. Do I go through here and I I always forget. Control room, maybe the control room. I bring it down with the... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. There we go. Sweet. All right. Uh, you know, this is a perfectly good window. It has a kind of nice look to it. You know, it gives you a full view of the room and everything. All right, let's keep going. It sure is, lady. It's the Batman. All right. How do I... Okay, so I got the... Oh, wait, no. The bomb is up there. All right. They, they were taken down, but the bomb... It's, it's still up there, though. You have to let us out. There's bombs in here. I know. I know, lady. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to take care of it. All right. Let's do this. All right. Okay. Flames? Up in flames? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Please. Okay. Let us out of here. I'm trying my best, lady, okay? First, I gotta make sure you guys don't blow up. Accelerant, all right. Looks good. All right, and here's the third one. Okay, this one's a little nitroglycerin, I can already tell. Okay. The Real Dawn of New York City says, What's your plan for goulash this year? I mean, Gordon, open the fire door. There's plans for videos, but there's also plans for torture. Um, definitely, I want to try to, like, just disassemble him and try to put him back together. Just fully conscious as well. That would be, that'd be pretty fun. 
fucking Alfred, garden. There's a fire door blocking my progress. I need codes to get past it. The police should have access to Michael Sullivan asks, will I stream that Texas Chainsaw Massacre game when it comes out? Oh, you know it. Get those codes to me by the time I'm I've seen gameplay of it, and I just... I just don't quite know... I don't know. It just looks... I mean, it looks like cookie-cutter asymmetrical horror game, but i just not quite sure how... Just basing a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game on the original movie is gonna give you a, enough juice to sustain a game like that? Like, to me, I feel like... I don't know. I feel like it's gonna... It's gonna be dead, like, really quickly. I don't know. Uh... Be cool if you could have characters like Chop Top and you could have like the Texas Battleland as like a map, something like that. That'd be cool, but it seems like they only have the rights to the first movie, so I just I don't know how they're gonna really be able to keep keep that going, like, longer than just like maybe a month. Like, I don't know. Oh wait, no, I have to open the door and then I can go through it. I was like, maybe there's like something over there that I could get. There we go. Maintenance personnel, please report to Sector 5. Alright, I'm sure nothing's gonna hit. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, oh, damn it. This is not going to be easy. Colby Jones says, Doc, do you plan on doing a Universal Month in June this year? I've tried to do other theme months, but I definitely want to, sh you know, review classic Universal monster movies, but I struggle to, I don't know, I, str I struggle to do oct October sometimes, very often, admittedly, so it's just one of those things where I need to try to focus on making sure October is as great as it can be, and not, um... <laughs> worry so much about the other theme months I've attempted to do because I, you know, I did Universal, but I was only able to do two videos. I, like, something happened where there was a flooding in my home that kind of derailed the other videos I had planned. And, you know, I did Deduary, I did the three Romero films of the original Dead Trilogy, but uh, unfortunately, like, the last one I did was, like, it came out in March, and calling it Deduary is just like, ugh. Having the last video come out in March is just like, man, ugh. And it's not something I'm very proud of, and it's something a lot of people do make fun of me for. Like, I don't know. It's just, the videos, they're, they're tricky to write and edit, and they could take a while to make. And it's one of those things when I have to, like, give myself these deadlines based around pun titles for months, too. It's just, uh. <laughs> but I'll figure out some way to, I don't know. I think the key thing is I'll make, I'll try to do like a, a run of themed videos, but just I'll drop like the theme month thing. Cause it's the same thing with like the Tuesday theme day videos. I just wasn't able to maintain that. Like, well, well also like, making all the regular videos as well so i just need to bring those things back but just change the names so there isn't like that fucking the like date theming like naming scheme like i think that's the thing that's always just just fucks me over unfortunately just like uh. What the hell is going on with these guys? But I, you know, I do want to review more Universal monster movies, though. That's for sure. Just, it might not be under the pretense of, you know, a theme month. Because I'm just not, I'm not great at that. It's not my strength, unfortunately. And it's something I wish I was good at. Oh, man. Guys. I'm just not good at the theme month stuff. I I wish. I want to at least try to get good at October at least, because I feel like I've just I don't know. 
I'm not even really good at that either. Ugh. Something I really need to work on. And I'll try to work on that this year. You want some of this? All right. Took out that whole room. Hell yeah. Zorby says, why were those criminals fighting? Well, they were, you know, doing some sparring practice, I guess. Because they needed to prepare themselves for getting their ass kicked by Batman later. All right. Uh, let's see. More info. All right. Well, I got that. But I can't get the Sonic Shock Batarang. Because I need to reach Worst Nightmare Rank 10. Fucking awesome skill system they put in this game. Okay, uh... Increased smoke volume. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. Alright, let's go with that. Alright, sweet. Zorby says, I love your October stuff, Doc. I still got a... October shirt I bought in high school. That's good to hear. And that's another thing I need to work on in 2023. I need to make new merch. I, I haven't made any new merch, and I barely promote it, too. It's like a thing that exists. Where it's like, every, every month I'll get maybe like two or three merch purchases because I don't really promote it that heavily. So yeah, it's definitely something I need to work on, too. AJ Benton says, I wonder how a Halloween game will work. Well, I've thought about it, and I, what I've been thinking about is just do, like, the narrative approach to Until Dawn, where you can make choices, and you have, like, a cast of characters you can control, but also mix in the gameplay of a Resident Evil or Alien Isolation, where it's, like, a third-person, first-person thing, where you're wandering around a confined environment and Michael Myers just randomly pops out and you have to try to hide and run run away from him. He's essentially invincible for most of the game. I guess, you know, they did that the babysitter bloodbath game was kind of that to a certain degree. But, you know, very short though. So I guess expand upon that and just make add in much more of a narrative Olron one says, Doc, we'll feel the glasses when? Oh, man, that would be cool. I, unfortunately, all my merchandise is... Oh, shit. Incendiary. I know what it is. Oh, there we go. Fortunately, all my merchandise is made to order. On the opposite end of the bridge. So, I don't really, you know manufacture any of the merchandise myself but if it was possible in like t public to have an option where um to sell like just broken aviator sunglasses that'd be cool but you know you can technically get your own dr wolfula sunglasses just okay. go to your local cvs buy a pair of perfectly good aviator sunglasses and then just pop the lens out that's what i do I'm not looking for praise, Alfred. I figured you'd say that. Would it kill you to lighten up a bit, sir? All right. Now I should be able to get through the uh, shutters. Bridge to Christmas future. It's burning vehicles now. I have the bridges on fire. Keep your distance. Ulron says the villagers are angry at me and are aiming fireworks at my house. Oh no, that's not good. I'm trying to play Batman right now. Oh wait, now just damn it. I'm not supposed to be down here. I'm gonna save myself. Let's try that again. All right, let's see. Where? Okay, where am I? Where am I trying to go? Hopefully this is the right way. Oh man, something tells me I fell down. Now I have to try to make my way back where I was supposed to be. Oh, dear Lord. Um, Java says, any plans to do more found footage movies? Tubi has a whole bunch. I suggest Savage Land or Horror in the High Desert. I mean, Savage Land would be kind of neat just to be able to just repeatedly say savage as fuck throughout the video. <laughs> um, but uh, 
I am planning, because, like, I'm going to be reviewing the rest of the Purge movies. Originally, it was supposed to be after Sinister 1 and 2. I was going to go straight into Paranormal Activity, that franchise, doing 10 minute, 10 to 15 minute reviews of each of those movies, but uh, just ended up having to work on an October video, so I think in the mix of the Purge videos, every... Like, you know, do a Purge video, then a Paranormal Activity video, and just do something like that. In the mix with also just the longer reviews of better, you know, more classic horror movies, like the 20 to 30 minute videos, just in the mix. Like, I'm trying to do this year more videos that are like... Yeah, I... Okay, yeah, I went the wrong way <laughs> back in this room. I'm trying to do, you know, instead of, like, the the Scooby-Doo episode reviews, the Tales from the Crypt episode reviews, just do more... more frequent movie reviews. Like, make some more 10 to 15 minute reviews of other kinds of horror movies in the mix with my longer stuff of more classic, uh... Like, class reviews of classic horror movies and also, you know, of course, the, the riff views of really bad horror movies. Kind of... Please, this time, no, no, oh, dear, look, how do I keep missing that? Okay, but this time I at least have a way back up. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm just, eh. But, you know, I also know there's a, there's some fans of, like, the Tales from the Crypt videos and the Scooby-Doo videos and also the Goosebumps videos, but it's one of those things where it's just, I don't know, eh. They're just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just more into, you know, just focusing fully on horror movie reviews for now. Uh, those types of videos were an interesting premise during the pandemic, but uh, I'm just not as interested in those kind of videos for now. But eventually, you know, eventually the Scooby-Doo, at least... Oh, shit, they already saw me. Damn it. Oh, no. You didn't see anything, guys. Eventually, the, you know, at least the, the do talking to me videos will be finished at some Damn, point. Can't keep up to this guy. Paul here says 30 minutes in Missouri until New Year's. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. All right, let's just try this again. <laughs> That wasn't a good idea. Aw, oh, shit. Now I got a fucking... Oh, no. This was not a great way to approach this room. Hopefully they didn't see me go down in the grate. <laughs> yeah, they didn't see me. Awesome. That's what I like to see. What's with all the smoke? <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't see anything. Don't look down. They just don't look down. That's all I'm asking. Oh no. Oh. A little too close. Hey pal, fuck you. Oh, ch climb up, jackass. Ugh. That's sweet. <laughs> I got those other two guys down in the hallway. Fucking idiots. All right, let's try to get him back in. Wow, they didn't... They didn't even fucking notice that explosion. That guy says, I heard Black Friday wasted both Bruce Campbell and Michael J. White. Yeah, it wasn't... I don't know. I, I was looking forward to it, but they don't really do anything great with Bruce Campbell. I mean, they play, they have him play against type where he's just this kind of, he's just this, you know, kind of this, kind of this fuddy-duddy, strict, you know, toy store manager kind of guy, but he's not, he doesn't really get to be all that funny, and he doesn't really get to do any action or anything. It's just one of those things where it's, I don't know, eh. I was just hoping he would get to do a little bit more than what he gets to do in that movie. And, you know, it has Michael Jai White, and I don't know. Yeah, 
it doesn't really get to do anything all that cool in the movie either. I think he dies pretty early too. Um, so I don't know. They kept Devin Sawa around for a while though. Made sure to keep him alive. That's something I, f I actually at some point. You know, wait. That's another thing I'm planning for this year. Um, there's going to be riff views at some point this year of all of the Final Destination movies. And something that really is fucking funny to me is just... They kill off Devin Sawa's character in Final Destination just off screen. They just say... A brick fell on his head. And that's it. You just read like this newspaper headline that says... Brick falls on the head of one of the uh, airplane survivors. It's just like, that's... That's how you say he dies? Like, that's it? <laughs> like, it's just like, alright. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, the next Final Destination movie is, like, a requel where it's re revealed. No, he didn't actually die. He just faked his death right, or something just because it sounds such a lame way to kill off, like, the first Gordon, movie's I main character. Like... <laughs> as soon as I defuse the final bomb. We're breaching now. You're too late. All right, we're about to get to the Firefly boss. But first, I'm out of Fresca, and I want some Fresca before I... Take down the second... Well, now, there's still a few bosses, but, you know, I still want my fresco. I'll be right back. Let's go to the Be Right Back slide. There we go. I like that. Yeah, that's good. All right, I'm back. Let me see. Where do I got that? Okay, yeah, here we go. There's my Frisca. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, but getting back to, like, um, plans for 2023. I, I am planning pretty soon Final Destination uh, 1 through 5. There are five movies. But also, before that, gonna do Nightmare on Elm... Like, the next big video on this channel is gonna be Nightmare on Elm Street 5. Then, I'm gonna finish off the Scream franchise, Scream 3 and 4, do big videos of that. Alright, let's... I'm trying to find the game stream slide. Alright. Oh, wait, no, wait. Okay, there we go. Active window. So, yeah, there's... The next few videos are gonna be... Nightmare 5, uh, Scream 3 and 4... Then, I think, then I'm going to do Final Destination 1 through 5 as Rift Views. But before any of that is done, got to work on the next Gulag videos. So, got to prioritize that stuff just because those videos have... That channel has been dead all of 2022. So, definitely need to reinstate it. Now, is this the way back or is this... No, wait. Let me see. No, there's no way this is the way back. No, yeah, okay, no. It's like through the, um, the shutters. That were once locked, but now should be open. Let's see. There we go. That's what I like to see. Come on, Alfred. Give me the, give me the shutters. AJ Benton says my final destination ranking would be 3, 2, 5, 1, and 4. My rankings, I'm just going to ruin it right away, because I don't really care that much. Um, Final Destination 2, to me, is the best one. Then it goes 1. Then it goes 3. 
Then it goes five, and then it goes four. Zorby says, didn't Doc do a video on that Scream show like five years ago? I did a... Yeah, I did like a sort of podcast thing back when that was like a thing on the channel, but yeah. Just, just of like the pilot episode, but I had no interest at all watching the rest of the MTV show, but I did watch, I did watch and review the, um, the mostly unrelated VH1 series, Scream Resurrection, and I thought that was okay. An okay Scream show. Um, mostly just because it's Roger, Roger Jackson is Ghostface again in the classic costume. I just was not a big fan of that blowjob face costume they gave Ghostface in the MTV show just to save money. Those Weinsteins. Uh. Just like, we don't feel like paying the royalties for uh, the actual Ghostface costume. Let's just uh, make our own approximation. Uh. Oh, he didn't, didn't see that guy at all. All right. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I thought I could ground pound that guy. It's not. No, Batman. This is how it ends. All right, is that all of them? I think so. No, there's... <laughs> No, there's still one guy over there. Like, just, like, st stuck in the scenery. Oh, what the... Okay, well, I finally took him out. At least it's there. Incinerating flash of an explosion? Or, nice, slow At some point, I also want to do riff views of the I Know What You Did Last Summer movies. But the thing is... I've been meaning to for a while, but the thing is, it's hard to find a copy of the original book those movies are based on that is that isn't edited. The current, like, essentially, essentially, I know what you did last summer is based on a book of the same name from the '70s. But the publisher did like updates of the book where they updated all the references and all the technology and stuff, and it's just like. I want to get a copy of the book completely unaltered, like, to be able to read it and know what it's like compared to the movies, to compare them, because I like to be like, you know, I like to be thorough when I can. Um, Alright, oh man, he is just covered in cum. Oh, hell yeah. Get over here, Firefly! I'm just gonna keep throwing all these batarangs. Luckily, I have infinite batarangs. Hell yeah! And now you're mine, Firefly! Get down here, dude! Come on! Hell yeah, alright. Finally. You say arsonist, I say Man, this is like the kind of boss battle you'd see in a Sonic the Hedgehog game. Just imagine Batman doing this in like a movie or a comic book. It's just like... <laughs> And there's like, I don't know, I know like regular henchmen have those stars around their head when Batman knocks them out, but still, it looks really goofy in a boss battle. Get down here already, come on, I need to kick you in the face. Ooh, I get to ride him. It's not an Arkham game if you don't get to ride, guys. All right. Michael Diaz says, Doc, do you think Halloween could be made into a TV show? 
Honestly, I feel like Halloween Ends' is Corey Cunningham concept could have been a good TV show. Like, just exploring this guy becoming like Michael Myers. Like, I don't know. I, it would have been a great TV show, I think. A cool exploration of Michael Myers through a different kind of character. But um, I was thinking, I don't know. I kind of thought it would be cool to do a TV show about Dr. Loomis trying to hunt down Michael. You could do something like that. But it has potential, but... Uh, and, oh, shit. He's just fucking flaming me. Let's keep running. But yeah, there's potential for a Halloween show. It's just... Oh, wait. No, wait. Where am I trying to go? Oh, wait. No, this way. <laughs> and I'd watch it. Now, you know, they're... There's been talk about trying to make uh, Freddy Krueger a new another TV show. Um, Friday the 13th's getting a show. Chucky has a show. You like that? I did. Hannibal has had a show. Hannibal Lecter. You know, it's, you know there's precedent there. So I wouldn't be surprised if Malika Cod is like, you know, trying to make that happen. He's like, well, the movies are done for now, but we can always make a... Make a new TV show, you know, it's a possibility. Oh shit. Oh shit, I forgot. This is still a boss battle. I need to fucking attack him. <laughs> ah. Stop fucking setting me on fire, dude. Oh, why am I running towards the fire? That's not what you want to do. Oh, no. Okay, I gotta throw some cum at this guy. There we go. That should work out for me. Hell yeah. Alright, time to... Time to fucking end this already. Michael Sullivan says, I watched Mulholland Drive recently. To me, it was boring. I don't know how you could be bored watching that movie. That movie's fucking crazy. <laughs> you know, it's a slow burn at first, but like all, like most David Lynch stuff, but it's just, I don't know, it's a wild ride. Wait, this boss battle isn't over yet? Oh, of course not. He doesn't even have a health bar anymore. Oh, yeah, I guess he's like in the desperation mode some bosses go to where it's like, ah. My only option is to grab him onto Firefly. I like the sound of that. Let's ride. This kind of looks janky, but, you know, it's fun. Oh, wait, oh. Oh, man, just covered in jizz. That's how Firefly is defeated. Seymour Bush says maybe Hellraiser could make an interesting show. Um... Yeah, that, HBO Max is making a Hellraiser show. David Gordon Green and Michael Doherty are making it, apparently. Which is very interesting to me, just because, like... Need a new hobby. Same time, Hulu has their own Hellraiser movie, and maybe they'll make more of those, too. I guess we'll see what, where that goes. He did it. You mean the bat? Don't give him too much credit. Something tells me that if you hadn't given a bomb squad the breach order, this bridge would be at the bottom of the river. Get him out of here. I'm hoping we get one more, one more thing with Robert Costanzo as, as Bullock. Just feels like such a shame we haven't heard him as Bullock more frequently. He's great. He's the best Bullock. You didn't listen. He owns the I'm role. Big on taking orders from wanted men. I'm not big on taking orders from cops. 
I should have gotten to that last bomb. Yeah. And I should have given you access to that security door. But between the two of us, we covered it pretty well. That guy says, what horror franchise would not work as a shell? Well, I mean, inherently a lot of the horror franchises can't work as shows without tweaking, of course. I mean, I don't know. Because you can't, like, adapt. It's kind of hard to adapt any of the horror movies as they are and expand them into, like, 13-episode seasons without lots of padding out. So you have to kind of tweak the concepts. Like... In order to, you know, better fit a uh, narrative televised format, you know. If you hurry, Alfred. Because you know, Evil Dead got a show, and it's nothing like. I mean, it's like the movies, but narratively, it's a very different kind of thing. Like, you know, with, like, Evil Dead as it is, like, you know, Ash is great, but just having Ash by himself the whole show, like, you know, because Evil Dead movies, most of the movie, it's just Ash by himself. You know, you have to have some other characters to, like, have some conflict or have, like, him, somebody that he could talk to, so it's not just, like, him just, like... You know, ran, just talking to his reflection a lot of the time, like in Evil Dead 2. Like, so they had to, like, tweak Evil Dead, for example, a whole lot for it to work as a show and give him, like, supporting characters, give him, like, a Ted Raimi character, give him, like, Kelly and Pablo, all those other characters. Oh that, just characters you could talk to, like, because that's something, you know, the Evil Dead movies didn't really, um have that much because you know they're just like 80 minute films anyway so it's like you don't really need to just give them like you know just some random fodder who can just get killed really quickly all right okay i gotta get detective mode back online even though i know exactly where alfred is all right there that should do it Alfred! Alfred! No. Zorby says Creeper could have worked as a show, but best not to. I mean, I have the pilot script that Victor Salva wrote for a Jeepers Creepers prequel show. Um, and, you know, it's something that somebody close to Victor Salva gave me and told me, you cannot distribute this at all or anything but it, it, kind of poorly written pilot uh, but basically it kind of but at the same time it did seem like it, it was like written before Stranger Things and the It movies came out so it has like unfortunately has like these kid it deals with these kid characters and a shapeshifter monster character like but it, 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 it just takes place in the universe of Jeepers Creepers like I, I guess I don't know. I... Alfred, can you hear me? <sighs> but it's a good thing we didn't there. really get that. <laughs> Alfred! Alfred! Alfred, you can't. Don't add me to the wait. I mean, the pilot script I got for a Jeepers Creepers show. It, there's the possibility it was a forgery, but they had they sent me pictures of them with Victor Salva, like, in, like, very, like, weird context. Like, they sent me a picture of Victor Salva just driving a car, like, where it's just, like, vi pictures of him that are online. So it's clear that this person knew Victor Salva, like, and met with him, like, and they sent me, they sent me a picture of Victor Salva wearing, like, a fucking, some kind of, like, anime hat or something, like, just weird pictures of Victor Salva where it's like, yeah, they definitely know him. This script could have been oh, fake, but they had the proof of they definitely know this guy, so I don't know. <laughs> You're going to be all right. Uh. 
I know I haven't always been supportive of what you do, but I understand now. Man. Go. Then that you... man's ass is just like, it's got its own fucking area code. Holy shit. <laughs> defend my own home. Master Bruce. Thing is big as hell. I like how fucking he looks like the Chad meme you see today. It's just like the craziest looking face, just the most exaggerated Chad face. No, <laughs> not the time for doubt. I can't do it. I can't stop them. No, you can't. Not on your own. But it's high time you realize that you are a man, not an island. It's actually funny because Victor Salva is a registered sex offender. You can see his address. You can just look it up. And like, he kind of surprisingly lives in a kind of basic looking house. Like, it's clear like, I think maybe some legal fees or so. I mean, maybe he just lives a humble life as this sexual predator movie director, but it's kind of surprising he just kind of lives in a just basic house. I guess maybe it's the only place he could live as a sex offender, though. It's kind of funny how you could just look up his address. <laughs> just like, I Google Street viewed his address, and it's just like, yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's... It's justice, though, because, you know, I don't know where Sam Raimi lives, because, you know, he didn't do shit like that, you know? So, you know, just don't be a sex offender, and no one will know your address. <laughs> uh, hopefully, at least. I mean, you know, I guess they could still fucking find out your address other ways. Just... It's just, if you... A shortcut to having people know your address is being a sex offender, though, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about Victor Salva. I feel like eventually I do need to... I've always... I've wanted for a while to do a riff view of Powder, that one movie he did with Disney, about, like, the kid who's, like, an albino that has, like, magic powers. I gotta do that at some point. I've been wanting to do it for a while. It's not a horror movie, but it's just one of those just ridiculous-looking movies. mask is mine, dude. Shut the fuck up. You're not taking this mask. From my cold, dead hands. Yeah, I, I didn't need to catch it at all. And there you have it. All right. Cops are just chilling over there in the corner. Thanks. Thanks for... I could use your help. Captain Gordon's on his way. Secure the gates for him. Then help him lock this place down. The Joker cannot be allowed out of here. Zorby yes, says sir. it started We're as on. talking about horror TV show First ideas and evolved into mentioning Captain Salva. Captain well, it became that just because I mentioned I had, like, a pilot script for Jeepers Creepers show he allegedly wrote. Sir, I've been listening to the reports coming out of Blackgate. Everything and I still have the PDF of that pilot script, and part of me just wants to, I don't know, just wants to, just wants to fucking leak it. But then again, it could be fake. I'm not sure, but I have, like, verification, but at the same time, it's just like, any arrhythmia. I don't know, I just, of course. But honestly, I just don't quite know for sure. And the person who gave me the script also told me not to leak it. But at this, I guess, I don't know, because they told me not to, like, I feel like I haven't seen it anywhere else. I actually, well, actually, no, I did see, I did see, I looked up to make sure it was real. And I did see there were, like, originally some, 
there were some early announcements for for a Jeepers Creeper show that that was in the works, but then the reminders of what Victor Salva is came out again, and I guess it just kind of fizzled. So there was like Something's early announcements like for a Jeepers Creeper show that just careful. it didn't materialize. But whether or not the script I have is real, I, I just can't know for sure, certain. But I have verification that the person who gave it to me knew Victor Salva personally, so I have that at least, but at the same time, it's not like any positive verification he wrote the script I was given, but at the same time, they told me not to leak it, so it'd be weird if they made this fake script, gave it to me, it's nowhere else online, uh, anywhere, and just were like, just, you can't show it to anybody else. Like, I don't know, I... But, you know, I, I, I can't. I, man of my word, ultimately. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm thinking I can, I can technically, as long as I don't show anybody the script, I can say what's in the script. But, uh, <laughs> well, whatever. Best not to think any more about Victor Salva. Like, best to just let him fade into obscurity, ultimately. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, Gavin Elrod says, Doc, thoughts on Norm MacDonald? Very funny guy. Gone too soon. All right. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's keep moving. Zorby says, should you be telling us about this script? Probably not, but I haven't heard from this person who gave it to me in a while, so I, you know, I, I don't... They just told me not to leak it. They didn't say... Well, I guess maybe they also implied don't tell anybody about it, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I gotta throw this. I gotta throw a remote control battery into this room. Oh, wait, no, wait. Okay, there's gotta be... Where are the sparks? Are they in this room? No, no. Okay, there's, like, gotta be sparks around here somewhere. Let's see. Da -da -da. Something with... Or maybe it's in the actual room itself. Let's see. Oh, wait. Or maybe... Maybe it's just a simple matter of... Oh, yeah, it's just that... No, wait, no, it's not that at all. Maybe, yeah, okay. Let's try... Okay, let's see. Sparks in the room, please tell me there's some... Huh. I'm trying to remember what, you, what you're supposed to do in here. Yeah, okay, it opens up something. But I don't... I'm trying to remember what you do here. Okay, let's open... Let's... Press this button again. Oh, yeah. Oh, it makes the spark. Oh, fuck me. I totally... Okay. Press the button again. All right, let's do this. Damn it. I totally missed those sparks. I knew there were sparks somewhere. Ugh. All right. Nicole L says, four hours stream, Doc. Yeah, I, the game's almost over. I might as well finish it. I mean, I could stop here finish the game and then do the dlc as part of the next stream um but at the same time i'm like so close to finishing the game there's literally only like a half hour or so of the game i'm just like might as well finish it but oh, what stop okay what the uh, dear lord just, oh, you just can't quite make the jump, and I can't make another glob of glue. Oh, wait, but no, the solution, of course. Oh, man, just, this is what happens when I stream for a while. I just fucking forget things. <laughs> like, it's just, my mind just starts to melt. Oh, yeah, it's another sign. <laughs> just...
All right. Okay. All right. Just gotta fill these remaining pipes with cum, and then we can move on. Hell yeah. How much further? I'm almost there. I can taste the fresh air. They're still having their conversation, even as I'm beating the shit out of them. <laughs> just like, yeah, yeah, you know, Batman, he's just like a thing. Let's not let that ruin our good bit of conversation, though. That's what they all say, but you're wearing an orange jumpsuit and I'm not, though I probably should be. Oh. Major Mekizawa, Happy New Year to you as well. Happy New Year, one and all. Okay, so I came through there. Okay, climb this. All right. All right. Oh, another level up. Just really useless. Very useless level up skills, though. Alright. Harley Harleen Quenzel is putting on quite the show. Alright, gotta take out this sniper. Attention, prisoners! Oh, there we go. It's okay, pal. Just let it, let it, let go. There's no way I'm doing this next Christmas. Clustered over there. All right. Okay. What? Oh man, they all got goggles. He might not walk again. Whoa, that's crazy. All I did was just, you know, kind of suffocate him a little bit. But I guess maybe I killed his brain. That might have happened. Can I get in that room? Okay. No. Not quite. About ready for you, Not quite a good vantage point there. Oh, wait, but th those guys seem like they're on a different level, and I could maybe take this guy out. Just gotta... Not like that, but, you know, it is what it is. Please get out! Uh -uh. He is. You didn't see anything. Bye! Happy New Year to you as well, Theo Hedge Hedgepith? Hedgepith? I've never heard that last name before. I'm assuming that's your real last name. Will you please hurry up in there? I've got places to go and people to kill. Alright. It's it's not hard to make you guys look like idiots, that's for sure. Okay, yeah. Uh, Okay, looks like those two can, uh, can get, uh, smoke grenaded. Assuming, oh no, where are you guys going? You're just leaving the smoke off. Damn it. What the hell? He's gone. What the hell even was that? They just like, <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Usually they just stay stunned in the smoke, but they just walked out. Which is the smart thing to do, but they weren't even phased. They were like, hey. This guy's trying to smoke grenade us. Let's just leave. Let's just get out. It's like nothing to him. All right. Well, that guy's been disarmed. So there's that at least. Um. We just want to see Christmas Day without crutches. That too much to ask. Well, okay. Wait. No, wait. There's like a guy right there. Um. I'm sick of this. Is he gone or not? Let's try it. Let's go for it. Well. I figured. 
killer. Guess I was wrong. Oh man, we got problems. <sighs> the sound of breaking bones and grown men screaming. Okay, let's. Oh, I don't have the mine upgrade. Damn it! Gonna need a stretcher for this one. Somebody give me a hand. Yeah, this is definitely the hardest predator map in in the game. Maybe even in the series. Well, you know, it's not that hard, but it's still kind of challenging compared to some of the other ones. Just because there's just so many more goons. I'd like to see this guy even try to take me down. Oh shit! They caught up really quick. Alright, just four guys left. Hell yeah. Alright, what else do I got? Anything good? Um No, not not really. Oh wait, no, I got I still got plenty of these. Why I haven't even been using this one. This is the most useful gadget in the game. I haven't been using it at all. I could just Well, if I had the man, if I had the upgrade, I could just like attach these guys to the gargoyles and take them out like that. Oh man, that'd be great. But yeah, this room doesn't really have any of the explosive barrels though, so it's not really super useful in this room. Unfortunately. Don't turn around, don't turn- Of course you turn around, you piece of shit. Okay, well, he just- He just flew. Um, now we're down to three, at least there's that. AJ Benton says, This might be the longest stream you've ever done, Doc. No, I- I think- I think one of the Arkham- One of the Arkham Asylum or Arkham City videos- not video streams were longer. Um, but this always happens when I stream one of these Batman games. I'm just like, just in the zone, auto zone. He's still out there. But yeah, this could end up being five hours. Oh dear lord. But it's it just it seems natural though, you know, because it's New Year's. It's just. Spend the whole night just playing Batman. Not even the actual New Year's DLC. Oh, there's just one guy left. Awesome. Hell yeah. This'll be easy. Zor Zorby says they are videos after the stream ends. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Do they have a... Does this guy have a hostage? No, no. Okay, he doesn't. Awesome. What? No! Alright, well, okay. That worked out in the end. I was kind of hoping I'd have, like, a takedown move there or something. Nope. I should check on the hostages. Michael Diaz says, what's Fresca taste like? Um, the kind I have in my area is grapefruit flavored, so it basically tastes like, it's basically okay? kind of like Sprite, just with, like, a, grape, a grapefruit flavor. You were almost killed. Huh? Occupational hazard. Yeah, I got my Fresca right here. You. He's in the Panopticon. And he's waiting for you. Panopticon. Very cool word. You don't really hear it that often. But basically, a Panopticon is... A very old school kind of prison. Um, where essentially, you... Essentially, the prisoners have absolutely no privacy. Like, every... Essentially, you'll have, like, this central guard tower that overlooks the entire prison, like, every cell. And the prisoners don't know when they're being watched, too. It's just... It's a concept that I think existed, like, really far back in ancient times, and you don't really see it as much today. But it's a cool sounding name though. It's a cool sounding name for like a prison. Prison kind of function. Not prison function, a prison wing. The Panopticon. I'll take this. 
Aw, oh, man. Fucking picked up that... Oh, shit. Get out of my face. Don't pick up that chair. What? I didn't even... Ah, oh, man. <laughs> the Batarang just went right over his head. Aw, oh, shit. Of course he has a shield now. What the... No! Ah, oh, you... Okay, I'm just embarrassing myself at this point. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just completely stop his heart. Hell, yeah. Brutal as fuck. Savage as fuck. All right. Let's keep moving. Just walk through that fire. Oh, that's some kind of cool-ass fire. I mean, it's very clearly just, like, real fire that they just kind of... Like, I don't know. It's always cool when you see, like, real fire. It's very clearly, like, a 2D sprite of fire. It was just, like, probably taken from a... Taken from a green screen video on YouTube, but, I don't know, it's kind of cool when you see, like, real Apparently shit the in a video game. Wouldn't let me out. And for good reason. I don't like having my time wasted. You should have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Not unless someone else puts up 50 million bucks. I wasn't worried. Yeah, this was supposed to be WB Montreal's Suicide Squad game, um, tease. And this was before Suicide Squad was much more of a mainstream known property as well. Like, this, their Suicide Squad game was supposed to be, like, the first big introduction to Suicide Squad to, like, mainstream audiences, but it didn't end up happening. I think it was even supposed to come out maybe, like, a year before the movie came out, the first movie at least. And they even made, like, an Arkham Suicide Squad movie, animated movie, too, to tie in with the game they were working on. But it just didn't end up materializing at all until Rocksteady took over. Yeah, they st <laughs> Man, even the martial artists are in prison. You think they have like their own special martial artist prison, but I guess not. I don't know why I tried to do that. Ugh. I always just hope that I can do a combo takedown on the martial artist, even though I know I can't. I'm just like maybe this time it'll work. I feel like a lot of these prisoners probably haven't even seen Batman before. They're just like, I've been in prison for like five years, ten years. What the fuck is this? What what the hell is this guy? Is this like a thing that's out in Gotham now? <laughs> what you gonna take, huh? Oh shit, that was close. Are you so damn fast? Uh, you know, I I'm fast because uh, I take notes from the Flash. I don't know what to tell you. Oh no, it's a Bane guy. Fucking Ving Rames is in this fucking jailhouse. Oh shit. All right. Take my time with you. What the fuck? Oh, I couldn't do a takedown on that guy. Oh shit. Man. Oh, wait. I think it's one of those. Okay, one of these big guys. All I gotta do is just keep punching him. Do the bat swarm. And that's it. Okay. I always forget. Like, I don't know. I get so mixed up what you do against some of these enemies. Ugh. I don't think I hear any more fireworks outside. I guess that's what happens when you use your fireworks like five hours in advance before New Year's actually happens. Yeah, there's absolutely no firework sounds. I know it's 1 a.m. by now, but they were like shooting off their fireworks four hours ahead of time. Like, they're just like, yeah, we're out of fireworks. We just used all of them up. Just completely wasted them. 
All right, is this the way? All right, let's see. Okay, yeah, 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 this is the way I haven't gone yet. Yeah, Zorby, this is Blackgate. Oh, another room of guys to beat up. Awesome. It's the same thing. Okay. This is new. But, okay, there's Bane Henchman. All right. All right. Uh, more worried about the big black guy who looks just like the other big black guy I just beat the shit out of. Maybe they're twins. All right. But you don't really see Blackgate very often in movies and stuff. I remember for some reason Batman the animated the animated series called their prison Stonegate Penitentiary. I, I don't really know why. I don't know why they couldn't call it Blackgate. Oh, he's just a little guy. Oh sweet, hell yeah. Let's do this. Oh man, of course a guy's got a gun. Okay, alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get her. I know, I know. Alright. Finally done with the henchmen, for now at least. I just know I'm gonna go into another fucking room with just another group of henchmen. Okay, oh yeah, no, no, I mean, it's, it is kind of like that, but it's a boss battle. Let him go. I, I understand you. You had a chance to let me die. Tobers is a super chat. Happy 2023. Ready for a new year that isn't 2022. Um, I'm hoping... I'm hoping this year is much better. Uh, you know, I got help. But, uh, you know, we do that every year and then just head on out. I mean, I feel like this year is probably better than 2021 and 2020, but it's not really saying much. Uh, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping it. So... What our friend Bane holds in his hand is... But, you know, I, I went into 2020 thinking it was going to be just a great year. And it ended up being one of the worst years ever. In a while, at least. I mean, I'm sure there's been worse years, but... It was a pretty bad year. <laughs> pretty damn bad year. Maybe the worst year. So either you killed Quite a bit, I think. So, um... I won't kill him. We'll see. But you will. You will fight me with all your resolve. There's always a good chance we'll go into this year Someone being like, this year is gonna be the year, and it ends up being you even worse than 2020. The, you know? the question of which one of us it is is in your hands. We're still actually an hour and a half away from the West Coast. Uh, finally, getting New Year. A compassionate man would be home. Mourning the loss of his servant and life. Ah oh, man, dodging this shit again. Oh shit, I always forget. But at the the nice thing about this boss battle is you have a lot more room to work with for dodging. On the rooftop boss battle, you barely have any space to dodge in. So it makes this boss battle a lot more easy. Even though it's the second fame boss battle. You know, it just makes it a little bit more uh, easy going. Oh shit, but he does do that. <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck you. Well, yeah, you know, I, I got this Bane boss battle in the bag. Oh no, he's gonna break me. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm surprised I could still get up after that, but all right. The Arkham Batman is such a badass that he can't even get crippled like the comic Batman. He's like getting crippled? Yeah, right. That's not my scene. Oh, good lord. 
careful, Jim. When that chair goes off, that's 2,000 volts. You won't make it. You don't need to. Dorothy says this is early in Bane's career. <laughs> well, you know, he peaks early. It's very clear. He gets a lot worse we'll later. Fight together like two little potato latkes. <clears throat> and yeah, it, it always kind of surprised me. They just show you what Bane looks like unmasked. And I know I, you know, you 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 do get to see that in the comics, but you know I, they don't really often show him unmasked and other stuff. I'm just not really used to it. I'm not looking for peace. For some reason, I always just thought of him as like, this is a guy who never takes off his mask. You don't know what he looks like, but you know, they're just like, yeah, he's just, just what he looks like. Yeah, he's just like a big muscle guy with a shaved haircut. You know? Nothing too crazy. Nothing too uh, surprising. Huh. It's nice that he does me a favor and just takes out all of his all of his friends for me. Just makes it so much easier for me to take him down. Oh fuck! Okay, I forgot about that. Whoa! Oh fuck! I got the shot gloves. I forgot about that. Nice freebie. Right here, Ooh, look at him Not long now, Batman. Get over here, Bane. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's just so much easier compared to the previous Bane boss battle. It's just, you got so much space to work with. It's nice. Oh, fuck, but you could still easily get hit, though. Oh, fuck! God damn it. I'm still getting my ass kicked, but, you know, it's at least more manageable. And yeah, I think that's basically it. I mean, there's still another thing with Bane. Up ahead, but I think I basically beat the actual, you know, boss battle of Bane. But there's still the stealth section. He did it! The game is over, Joe. And yeah, I killed Bane. That man just totally killed Bane. How about I put you down? Meltdown says Troy Baker really does a close Mark Hamill Joker. Well, to me, it feels like well, it is definitely influenced by Mark Hamill, but it feels like he's doing his own thing with the voice, where it's clear there's the influence, where he's kind of like trying to do a very similar voice, similar laugh and everything, but it still feels like it's his own thing, which is cool to see, cool to hear, I should say. He's got my gun! Gordon, Joseph, I need your help to stop the Joker. Our help? You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill? Alia Sassaville says, "Hey, Doc, do they have a I Know What You Did Last Summer book at the library unedited?" You mean I didn't? That'd be cool, but I don't know. I I just need to go on eBay, look up, uh, try to look up, I guess, an older copy from maybe like the '90s, like something where it's not like a collectible. Because definitely a, one from the 70s is going to be more expensive to get. I just need to get one from maybe like the 90s or early 2000s. Before they release like the edited versions of that book. Man, I got a D on that last boss battle. Wow. Ugh. That's not good. I wonder if you can get an F. I've never gotten an F before in this game. <laughs> So yeah, Batman killed Bane, but his loophole was he saved Bane. He brought Bane back to life with his, like, electrocutioner gloves. So that's how he got out of this situation where he had to kill Bane. So he could still kill you, but as long as he brings you back to life, it's fine. You know, it's a little fucked up to think about that, but, you know, as long as nobody's, nobody remains dead, he can totally, Batman can totally kill you. Ooh. 
Vinny Fawcett says, thanks for the live stream, Doc. Appreciate you. Well, thank you, Vinny, and I appreciate all of you watching as well. You guys help me keep going. You guys are what gives my existence purpose, Alfred, meaning. What do we know about now, this is basically an interesting take on the Mr. Freeze boss battle. Master Bruce, if you, you gotta Bane within 10 minutes, sneak up on Bane, whittle down his health, and just, like, attack him in different ways. You can't attack him in the same way multiple times, though. You okay? Harvey, so, yeah. You every exit out of Sewers, front doors, I don't care. And I think, I think Bane can instantly run. kill you, too. I'm not sure, though. I've never actually gotten, like... I think all he can really do is hurt you a lot. So you don't really want to get hit by Bane too much, but... Uh, it's an interesting boss battle. It feels like a nice final fight where it's like you have to use your wits to take down the big brute. What could actually be useful in this fight? Heavy really? None of this is really useful, but... And I can't even get that one yet anyway. But, you know, the Mr. Freeze boss battle is one of my favorite fights in these games. So it's cool, like, that this kind of concept is just a final battle. All right, hopefully I can sneak up on him again. I think maybe I can use the fire extinguishers. Okay, let's just hide in the van. Then I can sneak up on him through here, hopefully. Come on, just walk a little bit further. Come on, you know you want to. You know you want, there we go. <laughs> yeah. All right, gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah, 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 you, you're not gonna kill me though. Oh fuck, no, no, he's, yeah, yeah, he's, he's running. He is like zooming. He is zooming along. Holy fuck, okay. Oh wait, oh shit, okay, um. That was close. I think the Joker's heading to death row. got the place around me. No way you can get out. And I think there's also a time limit. I'm never, I'm not quite sure because I've never reached the time limit, but I, I think there's maybe a time limit you can't see where eventually he just becomes unkillable or whatever, but I've never gotten to that point. Don't turn around. Just don't turn around. That's all I'm... Okay, there we go. Sir, you have only all right. Yeah, Alfred, I'm trying my best, but I'm not quite... I guess I gotta wait for him to get near the electrified doors. Oh, fuck. Okay, hopefully I can use this to my advantage. But yeah, it's a kind of a nice, uh, kind of a nice sort of light horror game kind of feel to it, where you have this, essentially, normally, this, like, unbeatable enemy that you have to take down in very specific ways. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit, I had the opportunity. Okay, there we go. That should work. All right. And I can do a little beat down on him. Okay. Should have did that earlier, but I didn't. Uh. Oh, shit. I think it's a little harder, because now he can, um... Somehow scramble my detective mode, so now I can't really see where he. Oh shit! Yeah, that's not good. Okay, there we go. All right, and I think this beats him. I think we'll see now. We'll see. Well, this should be what I do to beat the final boss of the game, um, theoretically, we'll see. Uh, yep, okay, yeah, he's beat. Yeah. Sweet. It's over, Alfred. I've defeated Bane. No, no, no. <laughs> Think again. Well, man, 
Batman? Are we sure Batman isn't a superhuman? He can just get punched through walls and it's it's fine. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, he better know. He's like a human. He's like a he's like relatable like me. I could be bad. Well, maybe not me, but anybody could be Batman. Yeah, totally. All right. Man, that remote bat claw is so overpowered. Maverick Media says, Doc, if they ever do Bane in a movie again, would you want it to be more along the lines of Schumacher's version or Nolan's version? I think a middle ground would be good. Because to me, honestly, Tom Hardy's Bane was great characterization-wise. It's just, he didn't really have the Venom thing going for him, and he didn't really become big, but basically, he's what his character is like in the comics. He's like this master strategist, like this kind of smart guy who's yes. sort of a big got Thank a big brute help. body but he just doesn't become like you know hulked out He's or anything secure. like that and it appears the tn1 bane took damaged his memory permanently uh, does that mean he won't be revealing your identity looks that way glad to hear it sir and <laughs> he's still on the loose but not for long so yeah bane knew batman's secret identity <laughs> But thankfully, you know, Venom just makes you forget stuff, so just have to hope that he just forgot Batman's identity. He forgot that major piece of information. He's like, I just, I just can't remember what Batman, like the most famous guy in Gotham City, I just can't remember who Batman was. Man, it sucks. But you know, that's just one of the consequences of Venom, I guess. No, he was someone famous and rich, but I just can't quite remember. I've had enough of you for one night. Not yet, you haven't. Son of a bitch! Screw this! Want the Joker? Take it. I like how Killer Croc just gives up. He's just like, eh, I'm just out of here, bye. Ooh, I get to fight with Gordon. I get a sidekick after all. Aw, oh, shit. Yeah, I guess I forgot there's a little bit of a fight after Bane. Uh, oh, fuck. I keep punching Gordon. Like, he's not one of the guys I'm supposed to punch. Fight well. Shake it off. Had a rough childhood. Alright. That should be it. Joseph. There we go. Gordon honestly took out Where's most the of these guys. He went through I... that door, towards the chapel. Thanks. He should be the one in this bat suit. All right. Is it this way? Yeah, yeah, it's this way. Time to beat the shit out of a pale-faced, clown-like, loser, nerd, piece of shit. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh that's... <laughs> He's just... He's so... <laughs> what a night! <laughs> Fresh off the kill and back for more. Major Mekazawa says Batman, Superman, alive. having the power to give people amnesia once and then never again. Now, Wasn't that's... like, yeah, in Superman 2, the Richard Lester version of Superman 2, <laughs> he's able to make Lois forget his secret identity by just kissing her. Like, he has that superpower. <laughs> Which is like a fucked up superpower to have. That's like a date rape superpower. Alright. You must know. Get over here, motherfucker. Come on. But there's still hope for you. You just can get it. I love the ending of this game because Joker makes the point of Batman unnecessarily beats the shit out of criminals just for the sick thrill of it. But then Batman just totally confirms what Joker is fucking telling him. Like, he just fucking beats the shit out of him while he's standing up. Like, you would think he would just be brain dead after all this. Like, it's just savage as fuck. It's just like, wow. You would think he'd die on his feet. Like, it's just... But I guess, you know, Joker's got, like, metal plating in his skull or something. Very satisfying, though. That's why you do it, isn't it? 
You like the way it feels. It's what you need. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if I was Joker and this happened to me the first night I was a supervillain, I'd be like, eh, you know, one way to stop me. I'm good. I don't need to do this anymore. But luckily, Joker is really into BDSM ideas. Just like, choke me, daddy. Choke me harder. Oh, yeah, daddy. It's like really fucked up. <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. Here's your gun back. Well, my dog you know, I don't like guns, but I'll give the cops their But guns, I still though. have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. And how did you do that? I had some help. From a guy who really has some anger issues. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth you is... You didn't bring him in because he fucking disappeared. Because of you. Because There's no you way you would even me. possibly bring in Batman. I don't know. <laughs> they put me even in if you tried, Gordon, come on. Of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least, that's what I used to think. Honestly, how are they gonna fucking arrest that guy? Come on. <laughs> Stop his heart. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. All right, now Batman Maybe can finally enjoy his Christmas Eve. Him. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. Finally watch It's a Wonderful Life with Alfred. All right, show me the credits already. Come on. There we go. And yeah, that was Batman Arkham Origins. Not my favorite Arkham game. It's kind of jank, which you saw very well throughout this playthrough. Um, lots of AI issues. And, you know, I feel like the the later half of the game kind of gets padded out. And the uh, story sort of loses its momentum. And, you know, it kind of recycles a lot of gameplay. And, you know, just basically is just a reskin of Arkham City. Exactly. Just with, you know, a bigger map and everything. But, you know, it... It's still a fun game. It's still a Batman game. Still have a good time with it. And I like the story overall. Like, you know, I thought it was a cool Joker, a cool take on the Joker origin story, you know. Overall, a good game. Just not without its flaws. And, you know, for some folks, it is one of the, it is the best Batman game for some folks. Just, just not for me personally. But let's skip the credits because I don't want to sit through credits. And also, let's get the post credit scene. Because this is like an MCU kind of thing. Figured you'd be by sooner or later. C CCH Pounder! To me, CCH Pounder is the best what Amanda Waller. If I don't sign? You rot in here? Or you were. I'm kind of surprised they never got her to play Amanda Waller. In live action, she only ever plays Amanda Waller in cartoons and video games. I'm hoping she plays Amanda Waller in the Suicide Squad game that is coming out. But that was supposed to like, it's so sad. That was that was like supposed to set up WB Montreal's Suicide Squad game, and they ended up just making. They ended up just making that Gotham Knights game. They were supposed to make a Suicide Squad game with Destro. It just didn't happen. Oh well, just didn't happen. It's honestly a shame they didn't even use Deathstroke. He would be cool in a Suicide Squad thing, but they... The only Deathstroke we've gotten is Joe Man Mangianiello, or whatever the fuck you say his last name, doing a post credit scene in Justice League. Oh well, anyway. It is what it is, but... Yes, that's it for Arkham Origins, but uh, 
the next game stream, I will play Cold Cold Heart, which, which actually takes place on New Year's Eve. Um, ideally, I would have played that tonight, but I still needed to finish the main game. It is what it is. But thank you guys again for watching tonight. I will see you guys next time with some new videos as well in 2023. Happy New Year! Hopefully you all have a great 2023. Uh, I, I hope so. I hope I do too. But we can't guarantee it, you know. We got fingers crossed though. Fingers crossed. I'd like to give a special thanks to my shout out tier supporters on Patreon and my YouTube channel memberships for all their support. It's greatly appreciated and helps the channel grow and continue to thrive and helps my dark influence spread out throughout all of existence. Thank you guys for the from the bottom of my heart. Also a reminder that uh, tomorrow I'm going to have a movie night stream of the two Terror Train movies for my Patreon supporters and channel members. So if you're interested in that, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash drwolfio. Link in the description. Also, you know, follow me on... So oh, man. I'm in the corner. Oh, well, okay. I did not set that up correctly. There we go. Follow me on social media at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dr. Wolfula. I really need to fix some of this stream stuff. Um, and, you know, if you like this stream, subscribe and like it. You know, press that like button, baby. And also click the bell if you want to, you know, make sure you don't miss a stream when it comes out. Or a new video, for that matter. Anyway, I've been your host, Dr. Wolfula, signing out. See you all next time. Happy New Year! Hope you enjoyed this live stream. Why don't you watch another thing while I have your attention?